Welcome to the Community Bank Live Streaming Network. Go, Go Canes!
soon. Bishop may have caught a huge break, and I think we have. We have. It was a very short kick just across midfield. A Panther tried to catch that ball that just went off his helmet, and we were able to come away with that football. I, I'm looking down there. It looks like it may have been Hinkson Smith, I believe, coming away with that ball. And Pinchot will have his first and 10 at the Panther 49 yard line. at the Panther 49 uh, after a uh, 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 kickoff that hit a hit a Panther <laughs> and we recovered it. Now, Bill, it was a short kick, but it went just far enough. Had to go 10 yards to become a live ball, and that was a, an 11-yard kick, and Fitzgerald has it first and 10. Davis is under center. He's going to take the snap, and it looks like we're going to give a little counter to Bill Boone coming right. He'll go off right tackle and pick up about three yards out of – out of bounds at the 46. It'll bring up second down seven now for Fitzgerald. Hank, uh, 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 boy, a pooch kick went yeah, wrong, but went a, wrong for us. I mean, it went wrong for them. Glad we got that one. Uh, the huge uh, break for Fitzgerald. Uh, it really was. was. Now it looks like we've got Pascal set to take this shotgun formation. Field, nowhere to go, trying to bounce it outside and just nowhere to go. He lunges forward. He may pick up a yard, but a very nice job by the defensive front of the Panthers. Just really stood up that Fitzgerald offensive line, and DeAndre Pascal had absolutely nowhere to go on second down. Let's give him a yard on the carry, and this is going to bring up a big third down, third down and six now. The ball resting at the Panther 45-yard line. Fisher comes set single wing formation to the right side. Direct snap. This is Antoine Doctor. Doctor's going to pick up a first down, Bill. Young man really played well last week in Hazelhurst and starts off with a nice seven yard carry. Let's give him eight and a first down for Fitzgerald. Doctor, a little taller, a little slimmer, but a, a little bit quicker and more speed. Really looks good. Uh, coming out of that hurricane backfield. Yep, three plays. I charted uh, Bill Bowen with a three-yard pickup, and there uh, Antoine Doctor give him seven or maybe eight on that one. Hank. That's your first down, the first first down of the ball game for either team. And we've advanced it to the Panther 38-yard line. Now twin receiver split left for Fitzgerald. Looks like Boone in at the quarterback position to take his direct snap. Now he's going to – Motion Harris out of the backfield left, and we've got flags everywhere. We've got a little motion. False start against the Hurricanes. That'll back us up five. Daniel Harris, I think they call him Bug. Number 33, another young sophomore. has looked good the last couple of weeks getting some run late and uh, was in the ball game early tonight. Uh, I think that young man has a bright future for the purple and gold. Now trip receivers break the huddle left for Fitzgerald. Twin receivers to the right side. This looks like Doctor in shotgun formation. Antoine Doctor takes it right up the middle of the field and he is hit hard at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard or two, but really hit hard. Not much there for Antoine Doctor and he really paid for that one. I think we lost five on the penalty and really didn't gain a, much of it back there. That ball no. might have gained one, but gonna uh, gonna still going to be second and 14. Yes. Early in the first quarter, 9.55, no score, Fitzgerald and Sumter County. Tillman breaks wide right for Fitzgerald. Davis under center. We're going to motion Boone to the left side, a little bootleg action. Davis keeps it himself down this right sideline. Got a little running room. They force him out of bounds, but this is going to be close to a first down. Wilson Davis, a little bootleg action to the right side, had a receiver, but just pulled the ball down some open field in front of him. A nice job there by Davis. Nice read, and he does pick up the Hurricane first down. Needed 14, and he picks up 15. Nice, nice run there by Davis. Nice run by Davis, and we had a blocker out there in front of him. Everybody yes. went to the other side, but Davis <laughs> had an option to throw the ball, but saw he could make the first down. He picked up 16, the first down for Fitzgerald. Good job there, Wilson Davis. 
Now Davis is out and Boone in to take this snap. Boone shotgun formation tries it at left tackle. Trying to bounce it wide. If he can just get a little speed and they catch him right by the jersey, Bill. If we could get by one man, had some open field on that left corner, but he caught him by the jersey, and he drags Boone down for a short gain. And we'll call it a gain of a couple there for Bill. Well, Bill, uh, Bill, if he could have got that jersey loose, uh, I know. Uh, he, he could have gone down that left sideline, had some open – uh, open grass in front of him, but uh, a nice job by Sumter County to pull him down. Going to be second down in a, uh, a long eight. Receiver splits wide right for Fisher. We've got some movement along that Panther front line, and this is going to be an encroachment call against Sumter County. I'll give Fitzgerald an easy five. Hank, you all want to always want to just check and make sure they didn't see some movement on the offensive line, but nope, no movement on our side. The Panthers did move across the line of scrimmage, an easy five-yard pickup for Fitzgerald. That's going to be a second down and four, and the ball's right at the Panther 20-yard line. Davis now checks back into the game for Fitzgerald. Calvin Tillman splits wide to the right side. Pascal behind Davis in the backfield. Now we're going to motion Cam Johnson to the left. We're going to give this ball to Johnson. He's going to take it at right. At right guard, we motioned him left to right. Johnson takes the snap at right guard. He's going to be close to a hurricane first down. Looks like they're going to mark him about a half yard short, and that's going to bring up a third down situation for Fitzgerald. Third down in less than one. Clock running, 8.15 remaining in this first quarter, and the Hurricanes down on the 17-yard line of Sumter County. Excuse me. Yes, that's the, <laughs> I'm right, the 17. <laughs> We bring in our heavy single wing package. This looks like Boone set to take this snap and it is straight up the middle of the field. And they've got some quick pressure. Catch Bill in the backfield. I'm not even sure that he got back to the line of scrimmage. We've got a flag down too. I believe we may have a little action after the whistle. And this is gonna hurt Fitzgerald. We were gonna have it fourth down in a couple. I'm afraid this call may go against us. I saw, uh, yeah, it's going to be a personal foul against the Hurricane. Oh, unsportsmanlike. like, yep, against Fitzgerald. And that we're going to go from a, would, would have been fourth and two uh, to fourth down and about 17. This is really going to hurt. Yeah, that's a 15 yarder, Just, Hank. Uh, lost our cool and. Uh, there was a little pushing and shoving going on, and, and we got called for it. A Panther actually went down. And so now, uh, instead of fourth and two on about the 18-yard line, we've got it fourth down in about 16 or 17, the ball back at the 32-yard line. Wilson Davis under center. We've got... Calvin Tillman split wide to the right side. Davis takes, he drops straight back, throwing a little fade route to Calvin Tillman, and Tillman catches his football. I believe this is going to be a first down. What a nice job by Tillman. A 50-50 ball. Tillman had uh, was covered pretty well by Sumter County, but Calvin just went up and took it away. Nice job, Tillman, to high point that football. He's out of bounds at the 11, and this is a first down Fitzgerald. Hank, uh, Wilson Day was a perfect pass. No yes. one could have caught it, but Tillman went high as he could get, high as he could jump, and he fell, fell 16 yards down the field, exactly what we <laughs> needed for a first down. Woo. First and 10, Fitzgerald at the Panther 11. Now Boone's going to take the snap for Fisher right up the middle of the field. He's still on his feet, driving forward. Nice tough running by Boone. Not a whole lot of room there. Just lowered his shoulder, and he's going to pick up about five, let's, let's say, uh, on the carry. A nice tough run there by Bill Boone. Sumter County really following those. When we pull those guards, uh, boy, they're really shooting those linebackers in those gaps. And uh, Bill made a very nice cut at the line of scrimmage and lowered his head and uh, just plowed forward for a gain of close to five yards. Second down and a, a long five inside the seven yard line. This is Doctor now set to take the snap. And again, it's right up the middle of the field. Some nice push by the middle of that Fisher offensive line, Bill. You could see it very well from up here in the press box, right in the middle. The center and two guards just got some very nice push. 
And Doctor's going to take it down close to a first down. Looks like they may mark him maybe a yard short. Need to get down to the one yard line. This ball looks like it's just inside the two. So it's third down, less than a yard to go. And this looks like the big man Pascal set to take this snap. And Pascal is hit in the backfield. He had a linebacker come off the left side hard and he hits Pascal before he gets to the line of scrimmage. And we're gonna lose a yard or two on that play. That was a very nice play by Sumter County. Yep, but from fourth and one, that's fourth and two or nearly three over there. Yes, what we're going to do, we're going to go for it on fourth down. We, you can get a first down inside the one. Yes. Uh, but uh, let's see what we do. We're out there like we're going to go for it. Might try to draw them off sides. Uh, no sign of a field goal attempt at this point. And it looks like we've got Bill Boone. In at the quarterback position, two receivers right, one to the left. Now they're going to bring Johnson in, motion left, and we're going to send him back to the right side. A nice play call. Nice job, Cam Johnson, motion right to left. We snap the football. He turns around and goes back right, and a little option from Bill Boone to Cam Johnson, and he's around the right end and in for the score. A nice three-yard touchdown run by old number 19, Cam Johnson. Everybody went the wrong direction except the two guys that had the football. We pitched it out to Cameron Johnson, and uh, he scored on a four-yard touchdown run. We picked the ball up to try to go for two, and the little toss over gets away from us and rolls out of bounds, so the try for two is no good. So with 520 remaining in the first quarter, your score, Fitzgerald six, Sumter County zero, and we'll be back right after this. And it's another high pooch kick by Trejo. This time they've called for the fair catch, and it will be made by Sumter County. Again, a very short kick. Sumter County will have fantastic field position at their own 45-yard line. Bill already starting to get a few shout-outs. We'll uh, get to those as soon as we can. Sumter County, two receivers to the right side, one to the left. Backs in the backfield. We've got quarterback Anthony Tyson and the running back Jacory Wise. Now they're going to motion wide receiver to the right side. Tyson takes the snap and he gives a jet sweep to the right side. And it's going to be a nice game for Sumter County. That was number six, Leverett. Cordarian Leverett on the carry. The wide receiver came in motion. They gave him the jet sweep around the right side, and it'll be a first down Sumter County. The ball will be spotted inside Hurricane Territory at the Fitzgerald 40, 44, 43, but it looks like we may have another penalty bill. I think there's still a little, a little talking and all going on on, that, uh, on the field after the play, and this is going to be another personal foul, the second personal foul of the game so far when we're just less than 10 minutes into this first quarter and there's a second personal foul call going against Fitzgerald and after the first down this will mark march the ball down inside the 30 at the 27 yard line of Sumter County Sumter County t takes and gives it Bill I believe that is 22 and it is on the carry that's Quayshawn Tatum on the carry. Five, six, five, five. 
Not much there, no gain for Tatum. Kingston Smith on the stop for Fitzgerald. Now Tyson takes a snap, he quickly throws to the right side. He's got a receiver open, a little seven or eight yard stop route. The pass is completely turns and runs. This will be another Sumter County first down. Carrying the ball down inside the 20, down close to the 15 yard line. First and 10, Sumter County, they're moving quickly. It looks like they will mark the ball at the 15. Tyson takes a snap. He's going to keep it himself at right guard. He has a huge hole. And this is going to be another nice big game for Sumter County down inside the five. And this is going to be a first and goal to go now for the Panthers. Bill, right now, Sumter County moving the ball very easily. Going to have to button up this defense just a little bit. First down, goal to go. Ball spotted at the Hurricane three-yard line. And once again, Tyson in shotgun formation. He takes it, looking for some running room at the right tackle. And let's see, does he go in? It's going to be close. I believe they're going to mark him just short inside the one. Bring up second down. Goal to go. Clock running just under four minutes to go. Sumter County moves very quickly on offense. Uh, they don't huddle up. They just move straight to the line, call the play at the line of scrimmage and go. Old quarterback under center. This just a, an old quarterback sneak and that's Tyson and he will push it in for the score. Touchdown Sumter County with 344 remaining in the first quarter. Sumter County has pushed it in. Uh, Bill, that didn't take very long. Now, they were aided by a 15-yard personal foul penalty against Fitzgerald, but uh, Sumter County looked very impressive on that first drive. Yes, they did, Hank. Of course, it started with a, a pooch kick that uh, kind of was short and got got them in good field position. I think their drive started there at uh, their 45-yard line. And uh, so did. Uh, you're here's at the a, point after for two. A five-play five drive for the score, and here's the point after try for Sumter County. And we've got some movement along the front. And I think this may be encroachment against Fitzgerald, and it is. That'll move the ball half the distance to the goal. Let's see if Sumter County is still going to continue to kick this point after. They're going to try for two. And it looks like they still will try to just kick the point. The snap is a little bit high, but it's down, and the kick is blocked. A nice job. Bill Boom breaks through and blocks the kick, and we've got flags coming out everywhere. We've got to, we've got to get something under control out there, Bill, and see what's going on. We've got two or three flags that have come out. The officials are talking about the, the point. The point after trial was blocked by Boom. was no good, and then after the play, we've got some more flags coming out. This time it's going to be a personal foul, but this time it will go against Sumter County. Uh, there's a lot of a, a lot of talking and, and pushing and shoving going on after the after these plays are over. Both teams need to need to calm down just a little bit and let's play some football. 3:44 remaining in the first quarter. Your score is tied at six, and Sumter County will be kicking this thing away from their own 25 yard line after the 15 yard penalty. All righty, Hank, that, that uh, penalty will be assessed on the kickoff and Sumter County will kick it from their 25 versus their 40 yard line. Uh, that could be a good break for Fitzgerald if we can get the ball in some good field position. I hope we're around midfield. Yes. We're tied at 6, 344 left in this first quarter. Fitzgerald with two returners back at their own 25-yard line. Here's the kick. It's a high, deep kick. will be fielded by Cam Johnson at the 28-yard line, trying to find some running room. Makes a couple of defenders miss. He'll cross the 40 out to the 41, and Fitzgerald will have it first and 10 from their own 41-yard line. Johnson. 
Johnson on the return. Ball puts him right on the tackle. Fitzgerald will have nice field position. But Bill, that was a nice kick. Yes, it was. Sumter County. Davis now brings Fitzgerald to the line of scrimmage. Calvin Tillman split wide to the right side. Pascal the long back in the backfield. Two, uh, a wing back on each side. And we're going to motion Bill Boone from right to left. We're going to give the ball to to Boone heading left, trying to find some running room at the left tackle. Had to bounce it a little bit wide. He'll pick up two or three. Hank recapping the scoring summer for Fitzgerald. Cameron Johnson at four yard touchdown run. The point after for two was no good. He was set up by a fumble on the kickoff recovered by Kingston Smith. And it was a 49 yard 13 play drive and Fitzgerald was up six to nothing. And then uh, Sumter County came back. Anthony Tyson, a one yard touchdown run. The point after was blocked, obviously no good. Five play, 55 yard, and we're tied at six to six. And this in game scoring summary is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner agent of Coldwell Banker, Active Realty state and they're located at 125 south main street in downtown fitzgerald their phone number 423 sold 423-7653 and on second down we're going to snap the doctor he tries to bring it right and what a great play by sumter county i had aaron kerr's linebacker blitzing from this left side and uh he was just all in the way and makes a very nice play going to drop us for about a six yard loss and this is going to bring up third down now in 13. The ball back at the Hurricane 38-yard line after the six-yard loss. Linebacker just came flying in from this, uh, from their left, our right, and uh, right in the middle of the play. Third down now. We've got Wilson Davis, and, and this is going to be a uh, an interception. It's going to be returned for a score. Wilson Davis uh, looked like we were trying to throw a uh, a, a little screen pass, and uh, the ball was was thrown well short. I'm not exactly sure who the intended receiver was, but the ball was batted and picked off uh, in the line of scrimmage. And now they they ran it in for a score, but uh, I think they may have blown a whistle. They there may have been a, a an inadvertent whistle, and uh, we may get a little fortunate with that, Bill. Well, they brought it back to where the interception occurred. And, uh, Hank, I didn't hear the whistle. You may have, but uh, let's see what we're going to do here. We'll see. Uh, the, the Sumner County definitely has the football. Uh, they, they carried it in for, the, for a score, but uh, the officials now are bringing it back and marking this thing. Uh, let's see, was there, a, was there a penalty on the play that we didn't see? Well, let's see. Sumter it's going to be, it's gonna be first and ten Sumter County at the Fitzgerald 33-yard line. Not exactly sure how they ended up there. That's about the, the spot on the field where the interception was made. Uh, Bill, I'm not sure. there. Uh, I thought I heard a whistle, and maybe there was an inadvertent whistle, but uh, uh, we were trying to throw a little screen uh, pass uh, to the left side, and the, the, the pass was thrown short. I'm not sure if the ball just sort of got away from Wilson, but uh, regardless, it was – intercepted uh, along the line of scrimmage and uh, Sumter County has it first and 10 now. Twin receiver to the right side. Tyson takes, he's gonna throw a little swing route to his back out of the backfield. It'll be completed and he's gonna be forced out of bounds inside the Hurricane 30 yard line. Be a gain of four on the play for Sumter County. That looks like number six on that reception. Yes, it, it was uh, Bill. It was. That's. Leverett on the reception. Sumter County quickly now. Tyson in shotgun formation. Wise back in the backfield. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout on the field. We've got a timeout called. Let's, uh, uh, <laughs> let's just head back to Mick in the station. We'll be back right after this.
Hank, reminding uh, all our listeners to stay tuned for the Coldwell Bankers Active Real Estate Halftime Kick. It's a kick for the community. Uh, and tonight, uh, uh, the kicker will be Shanika Pascal. Uh, she has chosen Habitat for Humanity for her charity to receive the $100 if sh should she make the field goal. If she misses the field goal, the $100 will go to the Fitzgerald Football Booster Club. And there was a penalty against the Hurricane for uh, illegal substitution. That gave five yards to Sumter County and a first down. And on first down, they try a little swing pass to the back out of the backfield, and the ball falls incomplete. Shannon Brown picks that thing up for Fitzgerald, but it was a forward pass. It will be incomplete. Bring up second down 10 now for Fitzgerald. The ball resting at the Hurricane 23-yard line. Fitzgerald needing a big defensive stand after the turnover. 151 remaining in the first quarter. Tyson and Wise are your backs in the backfield for Sumter County. They've got twin receivers split to the left side. Now they're going to motion the receiver to the right. Tyson drops back, throws out here on the left side. He's got a receiver open, and the pass is complete. He'll be brought down after the completion. That was a tackle by Jason Ferguson, but uh, the pass is complete, and this will be a first down for the Panthers at the Hurricane eight-yard line. Well, that was just mighty easy, just a straight little out route, and uh, receiver was wide open. Tyson this time is going to give the ball to Wise. He's going to be brought down, it looks like, Roderick Morgan, the first Hurricane there, but the ball will be spotted inside the five at the four yard line. Second and goal, Sumter County from the Hurricane four. Panthers quickly to the line of scrimmage, twin receivers to the right side. Again, it's Tyson shotgun formation. And we've got another flag down, and there's going to be another call against Fitzgerald. Encroachment against the Hurricanes. That will be a half the distance penalty and take it down to the two. Not the way Coach Pruitt wanted to start this ball game. Uh, some bad penalties and a turnover. Sumter County now comes set. Twin receivers again to the right side. They're going to motion receiver right to left. And they're going to give this ball to Wise, and he is hit hard at the line of scrimmage and will be dropped for no gain. Like Brandon Brown, the first hurricane there, but a nice lick. And that was Braylon Terry on the carry. And that's going to bring up third down, goal to go. The ball still at the hurricane two-yard line. Let's go, Kings. Another big stop. Twin receivers to the right side. Tyson, shotgun formation. He's got a halfback to his right. Tyson takes, he gives to the back. And he's trying to get and, and push, and they're trying to push him, and we're going to drag him back. And he's going to take it down, it looks like, to about the one-yard line. That's Quinn and Bill, Quinn Sean Tatum. That on was that Tatum, carry. yes. That was Tatum on the carry. And that was the last play of the first quarter. Your score from J.C. Stadium after one. We're all knotted up at six. But uh, right after these messages, Sumter County will have a big fourth down and goal to go from the Hurricane one-yard line. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. County, it's, it was, it's been their quarter. Uh, we're tied, but they have played real well. 
uh, on the night so far. Uh, their score came with Anthony Tyson, a one-yard touchdown run. That was at 344. Fitzgerald's score came with Cameron Johnson on a four-yard touchdown run. Uh, that was at the 520 mark of the first quarter. Got to play a little defense there, but look at that yard marker over. Hank, it says fourth down, fourth and yes. one. Will America's trying to ex a field goal for three points, or will they attempt to go for this thing? I'm saying they're going to go for it. Uh, when you're on the road and you're playing a team like Fitzgerald, I think you take a chance at, uh, at any opportunity you got. Uh, and here they are going for this thing on fourth and goal. Yes, they are. They've brought in their heavy package. It's going to be a direct snap to Tyson. And we've got whistles. Let's see what we've got. We've got whistles before the snap. And this is going to be a procedure, a little movement by Sumter County. That's going to back them up five. Bill, now they may try to kick this, yep. remember, kick this field goal. Remember their last uh, a field goal extra point attempt was blocked. Block. Did you say Bill Boone blocked that last one? Yes. Hank, so uh, instead of fourth and one, that's fourth and six for a touchdown. And the field goal kicker in the ball game. And let's catch his number, Hank. He is number 90. I think Gonzalez is his last name. Uh, let's see. I've got him right here. And here's this. The snap is good, and the kick is up and good, and that is Allen Gonzalez. A nice kick, a little 23-yard field goal for Sumter County. And so Sumter County takes the three-point lead on the first play of the second quarter, and we'll be right back. A lot of folks this Texas for some shout outs, but we've been so involved with the ball game here. A good game. Fitzgerald trailing nine to six so far. Uh, we'll get to all these shout outs as quick as we can. But uh, Hank, back to play by play in this kickoff. They've got it teed up at the 40. There's going to be a high short kick, and we fumble that football. It's on the ground. Let's see where it goes. And I think the Sumter County has it, and they do. Another huge mistake for Fitzgerald. The ball bounces off our returner's chest and just hits the ground. And Sumter County will have it first and 10 at the Hurricane 40 yard line. Bill, just so far a mistake field game for the Hurricanes. Yes, it is, Hank. Yes, it is. Uh, a fumble on the kickoff again. Remember, Sumter County gave us one to start the ball game, and we've given them one. I would say, Hank, the guy the guy just took his eye off the ball he did. Uh, before it got to him, and it bounced off his chest and went forward, and there was one of those Sumter County uh, Panthers to, to fall on that fumble. So uh, yes. they've got it first and 10 at the Fitzgerald 40, 11.46 left in this second quarter. The twin receivers to the right side now with the Panthers. Single receiver split left. And Tyson's going to take the snap. He drops straight back. He's looking for some where to throw the football. He's going deep downfield. He's got a receiver open, and this is going to be a – this pass is caught, and it's a touchdown. Sumter County, we had a, they had a receiver running wide open. That was Leverett. He was five yards behind the defense. The pass was slightly underthrown, still able to come away with it and carries it in, and Lightning has struck for the Panthers. They've had two plays in this second quarter. One was a field goal for three points, and now they've scored a 40-yard touchdown strike. And out is the point after unit to try the point. And this kick is up, and this kick is good. And with 11.48 remaining in the second quarter, Sumter County with a 10-point lead, 16-6. We'll once again go back to Mick quickly in Roanoke Valley.
take. And this is going to be another high pooch kick, and this time it will be Cox, Nathan Cox with, with the fair catch, and it will be Fitzgerald first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. All right, Hank Sumter County leads the ball game 16 to six, and that last score was Anthony Tyson to Cordarian Leverett, a 40-yard touchdown pass. It was just a one play, 40-yard drive, and it was set up by a fumble on the kickoff, Fitzgerald fumble. That kickoff bounced off of our receiver right back to one of those Sumter County Panthers, and one play later, they scored another touchdown. This in-game scoring sermon is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner, agent of Coldwell Banker Active Real Estate. They are located at 125 South Main Street in Fitzgerald. Their phone number 423 sold 423 7653. Fitzgerald now comes out first and 10. The ball at their own 39 yard line. Davis under center. He's going to bring Cam Johnson in motion. We're going to give a quick pitch to Johnson trying to get out on this corner. He's got a little running room. Blocker out in front, and Johnson will be forced out at midfield. A nice job, Fitzgerald. Nice blocking out on this left side and a nice run, Cam Johnson. First and 10 fish, or the ball be spotted at the midfield strike. Yep, picked up 11, needed 10, picked up 11. With the ball's right at midfield. Fitzgerald is moving it right to left, and they're looking right at the National Guard Armory. We're trailing by 10, Sumter 16, Fitzgerald 6. Fitzgerald breaks the huddle. Tillman splits wide right. Davis again under center. Pascal long back in the backfield. Now we're going to motion Bill Boone. It's going to be another bootleg. We're going to throw this ball. We've got Tillman open at the first down marker. Let's see. That is a good catch, and I believe it will be another hurricane first down. We'll check the mark, and it will be a nice 10-yard reception. Calvin Tillman, nice throw, Wilson Davis. Yes, it was. Also, another good throw, Wilson Davis. Put it where no one had a chance but Calvin to catch the ball. Two plays, two first downs. Fitzgerald first and 10 at the Panther 40. Davis had a little room to run, but uh, made a nice decision hitting Tillman on that out route and picked up the Hurricane first down. Once again, now it's Davis going to take the snap. This time he's going to give to, to Boone, his wing back coming back to the left. Boone's going to turn it up at left tackle and he'll cross the 35, it looks like. Going to be a gain of about five for Bill Boone. Second down five, clock running under 11 minutes. Fitzgerald trailing early in this ball game by 10. To be completely honest, some, some sloppy play in that first quarter uh, by the Hurricane. Sumter County certainly took advantage. And once again, now Davis brings the Hurricanes to the line of scrimmage. And this time we're going to give to Cam Johnson, trying to find some running room. Johnson trying to get out on the corner, and again, he'll pick up a first down. Got caught from behind with his jersey one more time, but uh, needed five. Looks like he'll pick up six and a hurricane first down to the Sumter County 29-yard line. Plenty of time in the second quarter, 10-15. Fitzgerald trailing 16-6. to six, And now we've moved it inside the Panthers 30 at their 29-yard line. Fitzgerald breaks the huddles. Three receivers now break to the right side. Single receiver wide left. This time Davis is in shotgun formation. Takes a snap. Going to throw a little tunnel screen, trying to get the ball to Doctor. Throw is off the mark. Doctor diving for it and uh, goes down. I think Doctor saying he uh, came back in a little far. He's, he's looking at Davis, sort of patting himself on the chest like he ran the wrong route there, Bill. I think Davis thought he was going to stop, and Doctor continued to to move up the field. This time Wilson will go under center. Tillman split left. We're going to give this to DJ Westbrook on a little counter. Nice play, nice run by Westbrook. Nice job by the offensive line. A little trap action up front. On second down and 10, Westbrook will pick up a seven. Nice job by that Hurricane offensive line opening a hole at right guard for D.J. Westbrook. Now we've got Boone in shotgun formation for Fitzgerald. I believe that's Brandon Brown to his right. Boone takes it 
Follows Brown right up the middle of the field. There's going to be another nice run for Fitzgerald. Another good job by that Hurricane offensive line, and it will be a first down Fitzgerald. The ball will be spotted at the Sumter County 13-yard line. I think a nice drive so far for Fitzgerald. Uh, we've advanced it now down to the Panthers. It looks like their 13-yard line. Bill Boone, uh, a nice carry there, an 11-yard pickup. Another first down for Fitzgerald. Cameron Johnson, four carries, 25 yards on the night so far. And Bill Boone, seven carries, 22 yards. And it's Pascal this time with a direct snap. Pascal trying to find some running room following Big Gabe uh, Pierce at the right side. He's going to pick up a couple. Across the 10-yard line. Let's give him a gain of four on the play. Pass was kind of a tough night so far. Only three carries for DeAndre. Uh, three carries for two yards. Had a, had a minus two yards carry back in that first quarter. Now it's Boone. He looks to the sideline. I think Coach Pruitt's changing this play at the line. Going to be a direct snap to Boone. He's trying to left guard. Boone's got some running room. It's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown, Bill Boone. Sort of weaved his way through, Bill. Made a nice run. Patient, let the block develop in front of him, and Bill Boone weaves his way through traffic, and then it's a nine-yard touchdown run for Bill Boone. Just what we needed there, uh, Bill Bryant. Trailing by 10, and we're going to go for two, and this will be good. The quick toss over to D.J. Westbrook, and Westbrook carries it in for the two-point conversion. So with 8-11 left in the second quarter, your score from J.C. Stadium, Sumter County 16, and your Fitzgerald Purple Hurricane 14. You're listening to Hurricane Football on 96.9 WRDO, and we'll be right back. Uh, got a, another kickoff coming here. Let's 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 uh, let our listeners know about that, and then we'll we'll recap that last scoring drive for Fitzgerald. And this time it's Cox in with the high pooch kick. It'll be uh, Sumter County calling for the fair catch, and they'll make it at their own 35-yard line. Be first and ten Panthers from there. Hey, the length of that last drive was what, and uh, I let our listeners know that Bill Boone scored, scored on a nine-yard touchdown run. The point after for two was good. Much needed points for Fitzgerald, only trailing by two now. It's Sumter County 16, Fitzgerald 14. Yes, sir, Bill, I had that as a nine play and 61 yards for Fitzgerald. Now we need to see if uh, this John Gamble defense can step up and slow down the Sumter County offense. We have not had much success with that so far tonight. 30 points scored in this ball game so far, and we're just eight minutes uh, left in this second quarter. Yes, Fitzgerald coming off the big shutout last week, but uh, Sumter County had other ideas, and so far their offense has really uh, been clicking. Let's see if we can slow these guys down. Twin receivers now to the right side for the Panthers. Now they're going to motion a wide receiver right to left, and this is why it's going to take the handoff, trying to find somewhere to go. Looked like there might have been a hole there, but it closes quickly. Roderick Morgan, Kingston Smith right there to drop him. No gain on the play for Sumter County. Hank, I'm going to try to start on some of these uh, shout outs tonight. Eric Boggins listening uh, in Wilcox. Uh, Rita, Addie Grace, and Allie Preacher are listening at home. And Wayne Wynn. Uh, Wayne, glad to have you listening tonight. Hope you're feeling better. Yes, sir, Mr. Wynn. Hope you're feeling well. Twin receivers now to the right side. Tyson's going to take it. Gives to his back. That's wise. One more time. Another big hit by Fitzgerald. This time. I believe that was Brandon Brown and also Randy Shavers. It's going to be a pickup of about four on the play, and it'll bring up a big third down and six now for Fitzgerald. And Sumter quickly, twin receiver to the left side, single receiver to the right. 
Tyson and Wise are your backs in the backfield. Tyson takes drop straight back. He's got a receiver open down this right sideline, trying to find him again as Leverett. He had a step, but this ball is overthrown. A little stop and go. Tyson gave the pump. We sort of bit on that pump, and Leverett was down the sideline, but the pass is incomplete. But uh, as I'm showing fourth and six, Bill. Uh, they were sort of slow to get this ball back in. I don't see any flags on the field. No, it is fourth and six, Hank. But, uh, hey, a nice throw that time just to overthrew his receiver. Yes. And he would have been wide Woo. open and clean, fresh yes. air to the end zone had he caught that, that yes, sir. football. That I was, was uh, Cord Cordorian Leverett uh, with the receiver. And uh, – uh, and Anthony Tyson, the quarterback. Uh, Sumter County is in punt formation, Hank. Yes, we got to stay deep as the deepest, Bill. Uh, we bit on that little pump fake, and uh, Sumter County had a shot, but the ball was slightly overthrown. And here's the punt unit, and this is going to be a low kick, getting a nice Sumter County roll. They kicked it away from Tillman, who was back deep for Fitzgerald, and it looks like it will roll dead at about the Hurricane 30-yard line, and Fitzgerald will have it first and 10 from there. Nice job by that Fitzgerald defense, Bill. Exactly what we needed uh, after this big start by the Panthers. I want to say hello to Kevin Williams listening tonight and Tim and Sandy Woods, faithful listeners on all Fitzgerald Purple Hurricane nights. And uh, Tim and Sandy want to wish everyone a, a happy homecoming night here as yes. we'll be crowning a queen here at halftime. Sumter County 16, Fitzgerald 14, 652 left in the second quarter. Fitzgerald moving it right to left. We're looking right at the National Guard Armory, and the line of scrimmage is the Fitzgerald 30-yard line. I've got Roderick Bonner listening to us tonight from Austin, Texas, saying go Canes, and I'll get to some other shout-outs in just a bit. This is Davis now under center. He's going to give to the wing back, and that's Pascal. And Pascal's going to pick up about four yards. Nice, tough run in DeAndre Pascal. I got Scott McCraney listening to us tonight. Says, let's go, Kane. Steve O. Smith listening like he does every Friday night. Jimmy Howell said he's at Hearst Equipment Company in Norman Park. Jimmy saying, go, Kane's as well. I'll get to a few more here in just a minute. Fitzgerald breaks the huddle. Twin, uh, excuse me, trip receivers to the right side now for Fitzgerald. Single receiver left. And we've got whistles. Bill Boone set to take his snap, but we've got a flag down. And let's see, we may have, it looks like it's going to be a motion call against Fitzgerald, and it is. That's going to back us up five. That's our sixth penalty here uh, through a quarter and a half. Six yes. penalties for 50 yards. Two of those were 15 yarders, and the rest of them have been five yards. So we'll back it up five yards. It'll be second and 11 at the Fitzgerald 34-yard line. Now it's Bill Boone, shotgun formation. Two receivers right, one to the left. Boone takes it. It's going to be a little reverse to Cam Johnson. He's trying to find some running room. He's got one guy to beat, and the guy catches him by the ankle. One man to beat, or Johnson would have had a nice game down this left sideline, but gives Sumter County credit a very nice open field tackle, and it's going to be a short gain of a couple for Cam Johnson. We're going to bring up third down and nine, the ball at the Hurricane 31-yard line. Clock running, 532 left in the second quarter. This is going to be Davis, shotgun formation, twin receiver to the right side. And he's rolling right. He's got somebody. Some quick pressure. It's going to be a nice throwback to Cam Johnson. And this is going to be a big hit at the mark to make. But I believe Johnson will fall forward and pick up a hurricane first down. Needed none. And this was a nice little throwback, a nice job by Wilson Davis. Really took a lick as he turned that ball loose. I was afraid, Bill, he was going to get hit before he turned that ball loose. Well, it was very close Ooh. to roughing the passer. I saw the official think about it, reached for the flag, but decided, nope, wasn't, wasn't, uh, didn't hit him quite late enough. Uh, but a first down uh, for uh, Fitzgerald, uh, Wilson Davis to Cameron Johnson. Needed 10, got 11. Yes, sir, a little roll right and throwback, a nice play call. And on first down, we're going to give this ball to Boone, and Boone is straight ahead, and he's going to pick up five, maybe six. A nice job out here. Tyson King just uh, driving his man back. Uh, this is a very physical football game so far, Bill. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of hitting going on out there and uh, a lot of talking going on after 
after the after these guys are doing some hitting. I'm gonna tell you, Hank, I'm too old to be out there with them. You and me both. <laughs> and look, I think the, the official is gonna call a timeout. I think he's gonna talk to both teams. Uh, uh, I think this is a probably a good call. This was certainly don't want this to get out of hand. But there's been an awful lot of talking going on by both sides uh, after after each play. I'm calling that good officiating. Yes. He's he's brought both offense <laughs> and defense together. And the man with the white hat is right in the middle, and I think he's explained to these guys, we're yes. going to start penalizing this thing if y'all yes. don't settle down. And, Hank, uh, that's a good job of officiating, I, I would call. I, I completely agree, Bill. I completely agree. We've got it second down and five. And this looks like Doctor in the game now to take his snap. He's trying to find some running room at the right guard. Not much there. Trying to weave his way through, but he's going to be hit and driven back going to be a very short game by Doctor. Just really nowhere to go. A gain of one on the play. This will bring up third down and four. We're trailing by two. Sumter 16, Fitzgerald 14. Four minutes left in this in this second quarter. Now I've got uh, Hayden, Hudson, and Holton uh, Howell all listening to us tonight. They said Hunter's already gone to bed. Guys, hope you all enjoy the ball game tonight. Third down now. Third down and four. Davis back in under center. He gives to his wing back. We've got some running room out on this left side. That's Boone. He'll pick up the Hurricane first down, cross midfield into Panther territory, down to the Panther 47, and a Hurricane first down. Bill Boone, our leading carrier tonight in this first half, 10 carries for 42 yards. Cameron Johnson uh, would be our number two guy in this first half. He's got five carries for 27 yards. Wyman Martin listening to us tonight. I got Janine and Scott Henley uh, listening at home. It's first and 10 Hurricanes. At the Sumter County 47, 330 remaining in this first half. Fitzgerald trailing by two, 16-14. Davis is going to take the snap, give this time to Pascal. Pascal just lowering his shoulder, really nowhere to go, but he just lowers his shoulder and drives and continues to drive. And a nice job by Pascal taking something where really uh, not much of a gain. He's going to pick up five yards. Good, tough running by DeAndre Pascal. Under three minutes now and counting. I'm sure Coach Pruitt's trying to work this way into some kind of reasonable field goal attempt. Uh, of course, he, we'd like a touchdown, but uh, you got to, he's first all thinking a field goal, I would think. Second down five. Again, it's Davis under center. He's going to take, and one more time, we're going to, we found something we like on this left side. This little wing back, uh, the, the wing back from the right side coming. Coming back across the formation and taking this ball around left corner. Uh, and uh, we have really found something we like. That's Bill Boone, and he's going to pick up another hurricane first down, down to the 31-yard line of Sumter County. Clock running. 240 remaining in the half. This is going to be a direct snap. This time it's Harris, 33, the young sophomore. Harris will cross the 30 down to the 28. It's going to be a gain of about three on the play for Harris. Tina Baldwin uh, listening to us tonight. Uh, Tina said, tighten up and go Canes. I agree, Tina. These Canes need to tighten up a little bit. Second down. We'll call it a short seven. It'll be a direct snap this time. Antoine Doctor right up the middle of the field. Doctor lowers his shoulder, trying to find some running room. Got some of those big linemen going to get behind him and push, and they'll shove him across the 25, down close to the 24, and it's going to bring up a third down situation for Fitzgerald. Third down and three. Under two minutes now, 150, and the clock running. Need this big first down. Pascal and Brandon Brown are your backs in the backfield. Single wing formation to the left side. And this is Pascal, and he'll pick up a hurricane first down. He's still on his feet. Driving just won't be denied. He'll cross the 15, down close to the 13. Good, tough running, DeAndre Pascal. Hank, I'm giving him 15 on that pickup, and we're kind of on this drive. We're making those chain boys work a little hard over there and uh, still moving the chains. First down, Fitzgerald, our 11th first down of the ball game. And somebody's called a timeout, I yes, believe. Yes, Coach Pruitt wanted a, a timeout. The clock was running a minute and a half 
left in this ball game uh, in the first half. Excuse me, Fitzgerald has it first and 10 at the Sumter County 13. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And welcome back. And I've got just a couple of more shout outs. Uh, Rena and Claude King said they're listening in saying go Canes. And let's see. Hi, let me How about the Garrison family listening from home. Glad y'all listening tonight. First down, we've got Pascal and Brandon Brown. Your back's in the backfield. Again, it's Pascal. This time at left guard. Not much there. Pick up of a couple, maybe. Nice job by the Sumter County defensive front. Uh, really sort of stood us up. Nowhere for Pascal to go. Want to give a shout out to my old buddy Bob Tate listening to us from Maine. He listens every Friday night. And also Jeffrey Dobbins listening to us uh, up in the Perry area. Jeffrey, I hope you uh, are enjoying the game tonight. Fitzgerald trying to take the lead. Less than a minute now. 55 seconds with the clock running. Bill Boone, shotgun formation. We've got Calvin Tillman split wide left. Direct snap to Boone. He rolls right, trying to find somewhere to go to football. They've got him in the backfield. He's able to get loose. Reverses field to the left side, and Boone will be forced out of bounds. Nice job, Bill Boone. Took what could have been a three or four yard loss and will actually pick up a couple of yards. He's going to take it down inside the 10, down to the eight, and that's going to bring up third down. Third down and about five from the eight yard line. Hey, the good thing there, he got out of bounds. That Ooh, clock yes. stopped. We didn't have to use another timeout. 36 seconds to go in the first half. Trumpeter County is leading in the ball game 16-14. All right, let's see. One more shout out here. I've got uh, Ben, Cam, Jay, Drew, uh, Drew Hudson, Caleb Ray, Trey Hudson all listening to the game tonight. Third down, third down and five. It's Boone, shotgun formation. He takes, he's going to give this thing to Doctor. Doctor with a throwback, and that ball's up in the air. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Doctor was hit right as he let that ball go, and it just sort of was fluttering, hanging in the air. Uh, couldn't get on the ground quick enough, uh, but it will fall incomplete. And out comes Cox, Griffin Cox, for the point after try. I think a little fortunate Ooh. there. That yes. thing was, uh, yes. it fluttered, and it fluttered, and <laughs> one of those Panthers could have easily intercepted that yes, ball. Sir. No one would have caught him 80 yards no. down the field. But, uh, hey, Hank, here's that field goal attempt we talked about about That's five right. minutes ago. That was Bill Boone. Uh, gave to Doctor. Doctor uh, sweeping right and stopped and wanted to throw the ball back to Boone. Uh, Boone was open, but... Uh, Doctor was just hit hard as he turned that ball loose, and it just fluttered in the air. And here we are with the field goal attempt. The snap is good. The hold is good, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. And with 28 seconds remaining in the first half, Fitzgerald takes the lead, 17-16. This is going to be a good one here at J.C. Stadium. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's a high pooch kick. This time it's going to be returned by Sumter County. That was Leverett on the return. 
Um, he'll pick up about 10 or 12 yards on the return. The kick was a little bit deeper this time by Cox. And it'll be first and 10 Sumter County at their own 39-yard line. Hank, remind you to stay tuned for halftime. The homecoming court will be presented, and Miss Christy Jacobs will be here on WRDO Radio announcing the homecoming court. And I'm sure glad she showed up tonight. How about you, Hank? I certainly am, too. I'm, I certainly am, Bill. Uh, we... Uh, we enjoy calling football games, and we and we would enjoy calling the, the, the homecoming. I just don't think we'd be very good at it. I same here. <laughs> we get the colors, but that's yeah, as far as we could get. That's about as good as we could do. <laughs> On first down now, at Tyson is going to take the snap, drop straight back, looking down the left sideline. He's got a receiver open. That's Leverett, but it's a high throw, uh, and it will land over close to the stands. A, a, a very wild throw there by Tyson, and it's incomplete. 18 seconds remaining, second down 10 now for the Panthers. I want to say hello to Denise Jordan listening tonight, also Don and Betty Norris listening up in Wilcox County. And uh, a couple more, so I want to say hello to Gene Mobley. Gene Mobley's a Friday night listener, and Gene, thank you for listening, and I hope things are going well. Uh, also, uh, Henry Tyson uh, listening tonight along with Tim and Pam Hall listening down at Fernandina Beach. Hey, we got an injury timeout. Yes, we do. I've got uh, Robbie Dunn. Robbie says he's doing the best he can to stay up. Come on, Robbie. you got to stay with us now. Go Canes. And we've got uh, Charlotte and Raven uh, listening from home. They say they say go Canes. Matt Fletcher and Derek Summers listening tonight. Also, Mike and Donna Norman listening. And Jeffrey Kite. Thank you for listening, uh, Jeffrey, as you do every Friday night. And Robert Paul says go Canes. And I bet Robert's got a big old fire out there burning yes, tonight. Yes, I bet he does. I bet he does. And uh, speaking of a fire, I, I'm going to bet Brother Gill's on his back porch listening tonight uh, with, a, with a big fire going. I tell you, we've still got an injury timeout. Let's quickly go back to Mick in the station. All right, we'll, we'll take it back, Mick. Take it. And on second down, Tyson, he's going to give to the back. And a nice job there by Fitzgerald. It'll be a short gain for the Panthers. That's Tatum on the carry. Tatum, yep. yes. That was Tatum on the carry. And I believe that will be the last play, and it will be. That's going to be the last play of the first half. So we've got a good one going here at J.C. Stadium. Fitzgerald 17, Sumter County 16. You certainly want to return for that second half. And uh, we're going to take a quick timeout, but we'll be right back. And don't go anywhere. We're going to have Miss Christy Jacobs here. She will be here to uh, announce our next homecoming queen. You certainly want to. Be, in, uh, be here for that, to, to hear the entire court and the queen tonight. So we'll be right back after these messages.
I want to welcome you back to J.C. Stadium tonight. It's homecoming 2023. The ball game has been a good one. Fitzgerald leads by a score of 17 to 16. And tonight, uh, as many of you know, we've been announcing it all week. Uh, tonight we'll be crowning a queen here at Fitzgerald High School College and Career Academy. And joining us at halftime is Miss Christy Jacobs. Uh, she will be announcing the court and uh, all the festivities here at halftime. And Christy, thank you for joining us tonight. Yes, thank you so much for having this me. This is the second, third, or fourth year you've done it, I think. I don't know. But, uh, right. again, uh, uh, Hank and I sometimes have to call for some special help. <laughs> Believe me, uh, announcing this homecoming court, we need some special help thank you for for uh, joining us tonight and first of all you're the principal at the primary school in Fitzgerald That's right. tell us how that year is going so far yes sir well it's great um, you know I, this is my first year at the primary school I've been at the high school um, for the past two years so uh, homecoming looks a little different down there <laughs> but right. we ex we celebrated all week and we're so excited to be, get to join in with the festivities right. um, you know in the dress-up days that right. the high school plans first of all let me thank you for letting breakfast with the Canes crew come out a couple of weeks ago had a lot of fun and we were excited about promoting your school and a lot of things going on out there that's right we we're so glad to have y'all yes sir we we have a lot of things going on and we're so excited to be able to share with the community what all that we're doing um you know we've got a real big event coming up soon here next week but um but i'm excited to be here at jc stadium tonight and i think we're getting started all right. with the court presentation take it away christy all right we celebrate our football season and hurricane pride with you our community and our fans this homecoming week has been exciting signing at Fitzgerald High School, College and Career Academy. Each day, students have expressed their enthusiasm by participating in dress-up days and the powder puff game on Tuesday, which the senior class won. This week, we learned that Hurricane Pride is alive and well at FHS CCA. We invite you to share in our homecoming festivities as we crown this year's homecoming queen and honor the royal court. The 9th, 10th, and 11th grades each have elected a class princess to represent them tonight. The 12th grade has selected eight girls to participate in the court. The queen will be announced from those eight seniors as voted on by the entire student body. The crown is a gift from the Principal Student Advisory Committee. Our principal, Dr. David Sims, will award the crown, and our 2022 homecoming queen, Miss Akaya Jackson, will present the new queen with roses. As we announce this year's homecoming court, we ask that you hold your applause until the entire court presentation has been introduced. And now the members of the 2023 homecoming court. Our 2022 homecoming queen, Miss Akaya Jackson. Akaya is the daughter of Esperanda Jackson and the late Shandon Jackson and is being escorted tonight by FHS CCA principal, Dr. David Sims. Akaya is a Clark Atlanta University student majoring in criminal justice with a minor in business. Akaya is working while in school and has focused on her academics, putting her on track to graduate a year early. Our 2022 homecoming queen, Miss Akaya Jackson. The ninth grade princess is Kamaya Dobson. Kamaya is the daughter of Bernard and Latoya Peterson. She's being escorted tonight by her father. Kamaya participates in the Communities and Schools program, the Principal's Student Advisory Committee, and is a basketball cheerleader. Kamaya has also been an honor roll student. Kamaya enjoys giving back to the community by helping with fundraising opportunities. She enjoys conversing with her mother and spending time with her family in her spare time. Your ninth grade princess, Miss Kamaya Dobson. The tenth grade princess, Alike Goodwin. Alike is the daughter of the late Bud Goodwin and Marcy Larkin. She is being escorted tonight by her brother, Darius Goodwin. While at FHS CCA, Alike has been a member of the FHS CCA competitive cheer team, sideline cheer team, and track team. Alike is also a member of the Beta Club, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the Principal's Student Advisory Committee, and Communities and Schools. Alike has earned the honor of being named a Scholar Athlete. Giving back to the community and others is important to Alike, who looks for ways to help those less fortunate. In her spare time, Alike enjoys cooking and painting. Your 10th grade pr princess, Miss Alike Goodwin. The 11th grade princess is Kanasia Carter. Kanasia is the daughter of Gary Carter Jr. and Jacqueline Brantley. She is being escorted tonight by her father. 
While attending FHS CCA, Kanasia has been a member of the BSU and is currently a student intern at FHS CCA Little Canes Preschool. In her spare time, Kanasia enjoys shopping and spending time with her family and friends. Your 11th grade princess, Miss Kanasia Carter. And now we present the Senior Homecoming Court representatives in alphabetical order. Miss Trinity Lee Baker. Trinity is the daughter of Samantha Hill and the late Shane Hill Sr. She is being escorted tonight by her mentor, Mr. Antavia Smith. While attending FHS CCA, Trinity has participated in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Canes for Christ, Communities and Schools, FHS CCA Band, and the FHS CCA Drama Department, where she participates in the spring musicals. Trinity is also a member of the FHS CCA eSports team. Trinity is a member of Arbor Baptist Church, where she enjoys participating in the youth group and choir. After graduation, Trinity plans to attend Valdosta State University to pursue drama and special education degrees. Miss Trinity Baker. Next, we have Miss Kiana Campbell. Kiana is a daughter of Robert Campbell and Felicia Coffey. She is being escorted tonight by her father. While attending FHS CCA, Kiana has been a member of the Lady Canes basketball team, the Communities and Schools program, and the BSU. She is currently a student intern in the Little Canes preschool program. In her free time, Kiana enjoys shopping and spending time with her family and friends. After graduation, Kiana plans to attend either Savannah State University or Auburn University to pursue a degree and career in entrepreneurship and business. Ms. Kiana Campbell. Our next senior representative is Ms. Akiria Hall. Akiria is the daughter of Angel Lewis. She is being escorted tonight by her mother. While attending FHS CCA, Akiria Hall has been a member of the Student Council, 4-H, the Principals Advisory Committee, Communities and Schools, BSU, and the Ring Committee. She is currently a student intern at Ben Hill Pre-K. Akiria has earned the honor of being named a scholar athlete and the top 25% of her graduating class. Akiria is a competitive dancer with Sala School of the Arts. She is a New Providence Baptist Church member and she enjoys participating in youth activities with the Osceola Church of God. In her spare time, Akiria Hall enjoys her job working at a local daycare, hanging out with her best friends, and spending time with her family. After graduation, Akiria plans to further her education as a psychology major to become a child psychologist. Senior Representative, Ms. Akiria Hall. Our next senior representative is Ms. Brooklyn Hall. Brooklyn is the daughter of Michael Hall and Tamara Lett. She is being escorted tonight by her father. While at FHS CCA, Brooklyn has been a Beta Club and Black Student Union member. Brooklyn has earned the honor of being named a top 10 student for two years. Brooklyn enjoys donating to nonprofit organizations and volunteering at the Christian Kitchen. In her spare time, she enjoys reading and listening to music. After graduation, Brooklyn plans to attend college to obtain her BSN and pursue a career in nursing and healthcare. Senior Representative, Miss Brooklyn Hall. Our next senior representative on the homecoming court is Miss Layla Johnson. 
Layla is the daughter of James and Trina Johnson. She is escorted tonight by her father. While at FHS CCA, Layla has been a member of the FHS CCA Marching Canes, where she is a drum major. She also she is also a member of the concert band and the drama department. Layla competes in one act competitions and spring musicals each year with the drama department. Currently, Layla holds the titles of 2022-2023 GHSA Region and State Champion in Literary for Dramatic Interpretation Humorous. Layla is a member of the Church of God by Faith. She enjoys giving back to her community by volunteering with the summer art camp, teaching improv to children, and volunteering at the studio. In her spare time, Layla enjoys spending time with her family, friends, and dog. She also enjoys shopping and loves listening to music. After graduation, Layla plans to attend either NYU or Berry College to major in theater with aspirations of becoming an actress, director, and model. Senior Representative Miss Layla Johnson. Our next senior representative is Miss Traviana Mack. Traviana is the daughter of Travis Smith and April Mack. She is being escorted tonight by her father. During her time at FHS CCA, Traviana has been a member of the Lady Canes softball, basketball cheer, and track teams. Traviana is also a member of the Black Student Union and earned the Honor Award for Therapeutic Service and Patient Care in her junior year. Traviana is a member of Bethel AME Church. She enjoys working and spending time with her friends in her spare time. Upon gradu graduation, Traviana plans to enlist in the United States Air Force. Miss Traviana Yaya Mack. Our next senior representative is Miss Niaja Pascal. Niaja is the daughter of Reginald and Laquisha Pascal and Candace Walker. She is being escorted tonight by her father. While at FHS CCA, Niaja has been a member of the Beta Club, Black Student Union, and Communities and Schools. She is also a competitive cheerleader and a varsity sideline cheerleader. Niaja has earned the honor of being named a scholar athlete and a healthcare pathway completer. Niaja is a member of Bethel AME Church and enjoys giving back by volunteering her time at the Christian Kitchen. She enjoys spending time with her family and traveling in her spare time. After graduation, Niaja plans to attend Spelman College as an education major. Senior Representative, Miss Niaja Pascal. Our final senior representative is Miss Sarah Beth Wilson. Sarah Beth is the daughter of Nate and Julie Wilson. She is being escorted tonight by her father. While attending FHS CCA, Sarah Beth has been a member of the Beta Club, Communities and Schools, FCA, Spirit Committee, the Yearbook Staff, and the Principal's Advisory Committee. She has also been a member of the Competitive Cheer Team, Varsity Sideline Cheer Team, the Swim Team, and Soccer Team. Sarah Beth is a Community Bank Junior Board of Directors and First Baptist Church Youth Group member and has been an intern with the Fitzgerald Ben Hill County Chamber of Commerce. Sarah Beth's honors include being named a scholar athlete, 
to the all-region soccer team multiple years and the highest geography grade freshman year. Sarah Beth enjoys giving back to the community through various volunteer opportunities, such as food distribution, Jackie's Helping Hands, The Christian Kitchen, Salvation Army, Hunger Fight, and DMC Foundation. In her spare time, Sarah Beth enjoys spending time with her friends, going to the beach, and eating ice cream. After graduation, Sarah Beth plans to attend Auburn University as a biology major and then attend medical school. Senior Representative Miss Sarah Beth Wilson. Well, Christy, thank you very much. So that concludes the, the presentation of the court. Uh, we will soon be putting the crown. I think David Sims, principal of the high school, will do that honor. So That's right. uh, I see him headed out. So let's announce uh, who the, the homecoming queen will be as he takes out uh, uh, and presents it to the queen. That's right. So at this time, um, our audience is applauding, applauding all of our girls who are representing their grade level classes or the senior class. But at this time, Dr. David Sims will step forward to crown tonight's queen. FHS CCA 2022 homecoming queen, Akaya Jackson, will present her with a bouquet of roses. This year's homecoming queen race has been the closest in our school's history. Historically, there have been six queen candidates for students to choose a queen from, but because of ties after both the first and second rounds, this year there was a top eight. Therefore, after 596 votes, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in our school's history, we have a tie. The queens will be announced in alphabetical order. We will announce the first queen and allow an opportunity for the audience to recognize her. We then ask that the audience respectfully listen as the second queen's name is announced and the audience will again have time to recognize her. So if you are just tuning in, we just announced that we will have two queens, two homecoming queens this year for FHS CCA. As in the first time of our history, we have a tie. At this time, our 2023 homecoming queen, Miss Layla Johnson. Congratulations to Layla. At this time, Dr. David Sims and our 2022 queen, Akaya Jackson, are crowning Layla and awarding her with a bouquet of roses. But again, we have a time for the first time in our school's history. So we're allowing our audience <laughs> and our student body to recognize and applaud Layla as one of our two homecoming queens. Christy, I believe I heard 560 or so votes. 596, 596 votes. 596 votes. We had a tie. Okay. All right. Looks like uh, Dr. David Sims is back with the other crown, and let's proceed. That's right. So our 2023 homecoming queen is Miss Sarah Beth Wilson. Congratulations to Sarah Beth. At this time, Dr. Sims is awarding Sarah Beth with her crown, and our 2022 queen, Akaya Jackson, is rewarding her with a bouquet of roses. So this concludes our royalty presentation. Now our student body and our um, audience is going to stand and sing Fitzgerald High School's alma mater. Christy, thank you for your time. Again, congratulations to Sarah Beth Wilson and Layla Johnson, two homecoming queens here. And, Mickey, let's go back to the station with this time out. you list of Purple Hurricane Football, the halftime show on Radio 96.9, back after this. All right. <clears throat>
And welcome back, and it's time for the Caldwell Banker Active Real Estate Halftime Kick for the Community with Associate Broker Blake Marshall. Caldwell Banker gives a kick of the choice of a local charity of which Caldwell Banker will donate $100. Tonight's kicker is Shanika Pascal, and she has chosen Habitat for Humanity as her charity to receive $100. In addition, if Shanika makes the kick, she will also receive $100, but she, if she misses, the $100 will go to help fund the Booster Club. Take it away, Shanika. <laughs> and the kick is up, and I believe it's good, Bill. <laughs> it's good. And so thank you, Shanika, for participating in tonight's kick. And as always, Caldwell Banker says, go Canes. And I want to congratulate Layla Johnson and Sarah Beth Wilson on being named homecoming queen for Fitzgerald High School College and Career Academy. Bill said they, the first time in school history it was a, a tie. Yeah. Uh, almost 600 votes, and it was a tie, but congratulations to both of those ladies. I know they are very excited, and their families are mighty proud, and we want to congratulate all the ladies tonight that were on the homecoming court, all the princesses from each grade, and all the senior ladies that were uh, nominated for the homecoming court. So congratulations to all of them, but uh, especially Sarah Beth Wilson and Layla Johnson. Hank, I also want to thank Landscape Unlimited. They have sponsored the halftime show. And Hank, you and I are two old broadcasters. We've been right out there on that field <laughs> with our daughters uh, yes. uh, over the years. And I tell you, there's not a, a prouder night for a dad to be able to <clears throat> escort their daughter out on yes. that field, win or lose. It's exactly a proud right. moment for your family. It certainly is, Bill. We've uh, we've been fortunate enough to be out there and uh, uh, a lot of fun. And, and uh, I know those dads and those young ladies, they were all dressed up and looking mighty pretty tonight. And uh, congratulations to all of them. All right. And once again, thank you for the Landscape Unlimited Halftime Show for their sponsorship. And uh, we'll take a quick 30-second timeout, and we'll be, we will be back for the third quarter kickoff. And it's a high, short pooch kick, and it hits the ground, but quickly. That is Nathan Cox there quickly to cover that ball up. Nice job by Cox. Uh, the ball landed between a couple of hurricanes, but Fitzgerald will have it first and 10 from their own 41-yard line. Your score, 17-16, Fitzgerald to start this second half. But, uh, Bill Sumter County really been impressive offensively. Uh, their first... Uh, three possessions tonight, two touchdowns and a field goal. We were able to hold them to a three and out uh, on the on their fourth possession, but they have really looked good tonight offensively. Fisher's going to start off with Wilson Davis under center on first down. We're going to quickly give to Pascal right up the middle of the field, and he's got a huge hole. A nice job, DeAndre Pascal, and he will cross the 40 down to the 36-yard line of Sumter County. They're going to mark him down actually at the 38. But a nice big run, DeAndre Pascal, a huge hole at right guard. And Pascal picks up the Hurricane first down. I ain't 24 yards on the pickup. One play, we're in, in uh, Panther territory at their 37. Yes, we are. Calvin Tillman now splits wide left for Fitzgerald. Davis again under center. This time we're going to give to Boone. Boone trying to at left tackle. Some nice running room again. That Fitzgerald offensive line. First two plays really looking good in this second half. It's going to be a gain of about seven, maybe eight for Boone. Let's give him seven on the carry. Hi, we'll, we'll catch some team stats here in between some of these plays. Uh, but uh, first of all, let's, let's get this second and three play in for the Hurricane. And again, it's Davis bringing Fitzgerald set line of scrimmage. Calvin Tillman split wide right. And this time we're going to give Bill, I believe that may be doctor. Let's check the number. Uh, no, that's Cam Johnson, excuse me. It's going to be a very short game for Johnson. Not much there, maybe a gain of a yard. And it's going to bring up third down now, third down and three. 
Uh, no gain there for Johnson. And Fitzgerald with a big third down, ball <laughs> resting at about the 31 and a half of Sumter County. Coach Pruitt always says the most important drive of this ball game is opening up this third quarter. Fitzgerald really needs to see if we can get some points on the board. Now it's Bill Boone in at the quarterback position. Boone takes it. He's still on his feet. He pushes through. It's going to be a first down, and Bill's still driving. He's going to get down to the 20-yard line. Nice, tough run, and Bill Boone. Yep, Hank, a little quick eight-yard pickup. Bill Boone, two carries in this first half. Both of them totals 15 yards. And once again, uh, first down on the on the marker chains over there. Fitzgerald 17, Sumter 16. We're early in this third quarter. Now Pascal, Brandon Brown, your back's in the backfield for Fitzgerald. Single wing formation to the right side, unbalanced set, and it's Pascal straight up the middle of the field, and again it's Pascal, a little bit of a hole, and he lowers his shoulder and picks up an extra two or three, and Pascal will pick up five on the carry. Pascal really running that ball tough tonight. He's had a few carries where he just lowered his shoulder uh, and just made a hole. Clock running, 9.20 remaining in the third quarter. Fitzgerald on the move, second down five at the Sumter County 15-yard line. And this time it's Bill Boone. Bill taking it up, up the middle, and he finds some running room. He bounces it wide right, and this is going to be a first down Fitzgerald. They finally forced Boone out of bounds at the Sumter County 5-yard line. Ten-yard gain for Boone. Yep, Bill Boone, he's closing in on that 100-yard mark. 15 carries tonight for for 84 yards. Uh, he's our leading ground carrier in the night. Deion Pas DeAndre Pascal, nine carries, 57 yards. Now Boone out and Pascal back in. Brandon Brown will lead Pascal through the hole. Pascal trying to drive. They're going to force him back. He got down close to the three-yard line, lowered his shoulder, really trying to drive the football into that end zone, but Sumter County able to drive him back after a gain of a couple. Second down now goal for Fitzgerald at the three yard line. We can take the lead if we score right here. <laughs> Excuse me, Fitzgerald up 17 to six. We can take a uh, an eight point lead up should we convert on the extra point. Uh, still, what is that Hank? The four yard line, second and four, looks second like and goal. It, yeah, it looks like it's just across the four bill. And now it's Boone, Pascal out Boone back in. Boone trying to find some running room. But again, Sumter County did a nice job stacking up that Fitzgerald offensive line. <clears throat> Hurricane brought Quali Green a pulling, and Boone was going to follow Green, and Green was just stood up in the hole. <clears throat> Nowhere really for Bill to go. Able to push forward, picks up a yard, maybe two, and this is going to bring up a big third down. It looks like the ball may be just inside the three-yard line. Third down, goal to go now for Fitzgerald. Boone checks out, and Pascal once again checks back in. Single wing formation to the right side. Pascal looking for some running. This time he's got it. He finds a little crease, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Fitzgerald. Nice job at right tackle. A little bit of a crease. Pascal lowers his shoulder, and he's into the end zone easily. And with 7.52 remaining in the third quarter, Fitzgerald mm. uh, strikes. And your score, 23 Fitzgerald, Sumter County 16. And out comes Griffin Cox for the point after try. Cox's brother Nathan will snap this ball. Matthew Howell with the hold. And this kick is up, and the kick is good. And so with 7.52 remaining in this third quarter, Fitzgerald takes an opening drive of the third quarter and takes it in for the touchdown. And your score, Fitzgerald 24, Sumter County 16. And we'll be right back after this.
kick off, and then we'll kind of review that last scoring summer. And it's Cox with a high pooch kick. Fair catch is called for, and the ball is bobbled and hits the ground. I do believe Sumter County may have covered this thing back up, and they do. Fits show right there. DJ Westbrook and Cam Johnson right there, but uh, Sumter County able to get back on that football. They'll have it first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. Fitzgerald goes ahead 24-16 on our first drive of this third quarter. DeAndre Pascal, a three-yard touchdown run. Uh, Griffin Cox point out was good, a 59-yard nine-play drive. And it was the opening drive of that third quarter. Good to see Fitzgerald getting their hands on the ball, took it down and scored to put some points on the board. And Hank, a long way to go here now, but that's a typical Fitzgerald drive we've seen all yes, year. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, like you said, uh, nine plays, 59 yards, no penalties, uh, just just took it right down the field. Let's see what yes. we can do on the defensive side of the ball. Exactly right. Nice job by that Fitzgerald offensive line. Now let's see if we can slow down Sumter County. Twin receivers now the right side, single receiver left. Now they're going to motion Leverett left to right. A little delay on that snap, but uh, sort of threw the timing off. But Leverett has it, jet sweep, and Roderick Morgan there to make a stop. Nice job there by Morgan. Uh, Leverett thought he may have had a little bit of running room. He still will pick up three yards. Hank backing up to the 24-16 drive. Again, John Andre passed for a three-yard touchdown run. And this in-game scoring summer is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner-agent of Coldwell Banker Active Real Estate. And they're located at 125 South Main Street in downtown Fitzgerald. Their phone number, 423-SOLD, 423-7653. Twin receivers left, single receiver to the right side for the Panthers. Tyson and Tatum are your backs in the backfield. Tyson takes, he looks to throw... He's got a receiver running deep downfield. He, he's wide open. Our defender actually fell down, got a little tangled up, and a doctor went down. Excuse me, that was not doctor with the, with the coverage. That was actually uh, Chavis Benton on the coverage. We got a flag out there too, Hank, at about the 38, 39 yard line. Are they gonna call um, interference on Benton? He, he actually fell. Yeah, they picked and the flag was, up. That was Leverett nope, they running are. running loose, and uh, the ball was overthrown, but I believe they are going to call a pass interference against Fitzgerald. Hank, since that looked like a 10-yard penalty, yeah, it was a hold. I think it was, Bill. Yeah. I think they called holding against Fitzgerald. Yep in the defensive backfield. So it's going to be first and 10 Sumter County at their own 48 yard line. Tyson brings the Panthers set. Two receivers right, he takes the snap. He's going to give to Wise at right guard. Not much there, he'll go for a couple. The ball will be spotted at midfield. Hey, we Hank, how those girls help yes, themselves over there? I got them. Uh, Ashley and Allie Bradley, Brady have joined us in the booth. Going to get a little something to eat. There you go, ladies. There's some plates and napkins. Get what you need. Tyson brings Sumter County set. Takes, looks to throw to the left side. He's got to receive the pass. is complete. We've got three or four hurricanes there. It's going to be short of a first down. Going to be a gain of about five on the completion. Trying to find my. What you need, Hutton? I'm looking for my roster. All righty. And that was Tory Smith with the reception for the Panthers. Gain of five is going to bring up a big third down now for Sumter County. Third down and four. The ball at the Hurricane 46 yard line. And the, the snap is dropped, and Tyson does an outstanding job. He picks up the ball, comes loose, and we've got it running down the sideline. They're going to call him down. Oh, my goodness. The snap was dropped, and Tyson did a very nice job. There was confusion between he and Wise in the backfield. He picks the ball up, goes straight up the middle of the field, picks up a first down, and the ball came flying out of the pile. Brandon Brown for Fitzgerald picked it up and was heading in the opposite direction, but it looks like they're going to call Tyson down at the Hurricane 40-yard line, and it'll be first and 10 Panthers from there. Again, it's Tyson up the middle of the field. Makes a couple of defenders miss, cuts to the left side, and he's streaking down the sideline. Can we catch him? 
and we finally do, but it's going to be inside the five. What a nice run by Tyson, the quarterback. Took a step or two up the middle of the field, and we bit hard, and then he broke left to the sideline, and we had absolutely no one there, and he was streaking down the sideline. Antoine Doctor able to run him down, but it's first and goal to go now for Sumter County at the Hurricane three-yard line. A 37-yard pickup by Anthony Tyson, and uh, they're right down there at our three-yard line. Yes, they are. And on first down, Tyson has hit hard. Let's see, Anthony Lewis looks like the first Hurricane there. They're going to drop him for no gain. He's going to bring up second down goal now from the three. I think, I think I'd run Mr. Tyson a little more at number yes. five, their quarterback. Ooh. Nice job, nice run I there. Mean, that was a nice move. We had a couple of defenders there, and, I mean, he when he broke left, uh, they both just failed. I mean, really put a move on those guys and went down the sideline. Nice job by Doctor to get him out of bounds. Tyson one more time, and we've got the people there. That looks like Washington leading the, the charge this time. Trey Washington for Fitzgerald. First hurricane there. Roderick Morgan checking into the game. Hiking yes. that defensive side. Let's see. Uh, Shannon Brown also getting up from the bottom of that pile, but no gain again on third down. And this is going to bring up third down. Excuse me, uh, that was second down. This is now third down, goal to go. Ball still at the Hurricane three-yard line. Y'all get all you want now. And on third down, they give to Tatum, and Tatum is in for the score. This time, Tyson took the ball, gave to Tatum. Tatum... Off right guard, and it is a touchdown, Sumter County. 3.58 remaining in the third quarter. And Sumter County has cut the, the Fitzgerald lead to two, and here comes the try for the two-point conversion. Twin receivers right and left. Snap it to Tyson. He's trying to find somewhere to go with the football. He's got a receiver out there, and it is complete. Had some heat on Tyson. He made a nice throw. And this pass is complete, and so with 3.58 remaining in the third quarter, the score is tied at 24. We've got a good one going at J.C. Stadium. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Well, Bill, we got a barn burner going on here at the stadium. Uh, not sure that uh, many people expected this, but this is tied at 24 with 3.58 remaining in the first quarter. And uh, you and I talking during the break, Sumter County made that drive look pretty easy moving down the field. Hey, we had some momentum going into halftime, and then we, we came out and scored. Thought we had some real momentum, and, uh, and uh, Sumter County has, has taken it back, and uh, they are uh, – They've tied this ball game. Yes, they are. And Bill, I don't, boy, just another uh, of tragedy averted. Uh, we, we fumbled the ball on the kickoff, uh, had two Hurricanes going for the ball, just a little short kick rolling, and uh, it hits the ground with a couple of Panthers around, but we're able to come up with that football. So it's first and 10 Fitzgerald from their own 30-yard line. Bill just seemed to be a little out of sorts tonight, not exactly sure what's going on. We've got Davis now under center. Calvin Tillman split wide to the right side. We're going to give this thing to Tyson King. A little counter play. King keeps his feet. He's hit the line of scrimmage, but keeps his feet. This is going to be a nice carry for King. Going to be a gain of eight. Nice little misdirection. We've been bringing that wing back in motion, and when we did this time, a couple of those Panther linebackers were following that wing back, and we went back the other direction with King. All right, ladies, see y'all later. This time, Tillman splits wide left. We're going to give to Pascal again right up the middle of the field. He's got another big hole, just a quick hitter to Pascal. He's going to cross into Sumter County territory. They're going to mark him down at the Panther 46-yard line. 
Nice job by the Fitzgerald offense. This offensive line starting to open some holes, Bill. Uh, if we can just uh, slow Sumter County's offense down a little bit. And it looks like this time it's Doctor set to take the snap. He's going to try it at right tackle, cuts back left, finds a little running room, getting some push from those big offensive linemen. He's still on his feet. And he's going to be close to a hurricane first down. We'll check the mark. He was hit after about a five-yard gain, but just continued to drive, and a couple of those big linemen fell in behind him. It's going to be a gain of about nine on the play. Second down in the yard now for the Hurricane. 24-24 is your score, and with 2.28 left in this third quarter. Now we go back single wing formation. This time it's Boone. Direct snap right up the middle of the field, trying to find somewhere to go, and just runs into the back of his offensive lineman, but he bounces left. Finds a little bit of a push on that left side, and he will cross the 35, and it'll be another hurricane first down. Ball spotted at the 33-yard line of Sumter County. Bill Boone, a good night, 17 carries, 93 yards. But DeAndre Pascal, uh, he's picked it up a good bit here in this third quarter. Give him 12 carries for 77 yards. That's his total in the ball game. First and 10, Fitzgerald. The ball is at the uh, Sumter County 34-yard line. This time it's Davis under center. And Davis is going to take give to Pascal up the middle of the field. It's been a good play this second half. And again, Pascal is going to go uh, for about five. Another nice job by that Fitzgerald offensive line. This is going to bring up second down five. The ball just across the Sumter County 29-yard line. Bill, I think the girls enjoyed the brownies. I think they had about three apiece. Okay, well, that's okay. Yes. One more time, Davis brings Fitzgerald set. This time we'll give to Boone. Coming right, little buck sweep type action. Boone's going to cut it back up inside. Goes back to his left. He'll cross the 25. It's going to be close to a first down. We we'll need to check this mark. I, I believe he may be just short of it, but they may take a measurement. The ball looks like it's resting on about the 24-yard line, and I believe he's about a half yard short. Third down and a half yard. Davis under center. Might not be a bad time with just the old quarterback sneak, and that looks like what it is. Nice push by that offensive line. LeVon Simmons there leading the charge for Fitzgerald. LeVon Simmons, Quali Green leading Davis, and he will pick up four yards down to the 20 yard line and another Fitzgerald first down. The clock running now less than 30 seconds in the quarter. Fitzgerald 24, Sumter County 24. Boy Bill, when everybody's running that football, the clock runs in a hurry, it doesn't does. it? does. First and 10 hurricane, ball at the 20 yard line. Davis, he's got Bill Boone in motion. He's gonna give that thing to Boone one more time and uh, Panthers ready for that one. They're going to drop Boone for no gain. And that's going to be the last play of your third quarter. So your score after three, Fitzgerald 24, Sumter County 24. We've got a good one going here. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back.
Tatum for Sumter County scored on a three-yard touchdown around the point after for two was good. An eight-play, 65-yard drive. And this in-game scoring summary is brought to you by Melissa Burgess, owner agent of Coldwell Banker Active Real Estate. And they're located on 129, 125 South Main Street in downtown Fitzgerald. Their phone number, 423-SOUL, 423-7653. And on second down, it's going to be a direct snap to Boone. A little pump fake left, and he takes it up the middle. And Boone weaves his way through some traffic. It's going to be a nice carry for Boone. Gain of seven on the play, and that's going to bring up third down and three now for Fitzgerald. Bill Boone on that play uh, breaks the 100-yard mark. 20 carries, 104 yards. Bill Boone of 20 carries, 104 yards. He's had a good night tonight. Now we've got a big third down. Need to pick this. First down up, we've got Boone is out and Pascal is in. Direct snap to Pascal, trying to find some running room at right tackle. He's going to find a little bit. This is going to be close to a first down. Needed to get to the 10 yard line. We'll check the mark. Let's check this mark. It's going to be close. Hey, it looks like they may measure this thing, Bill. I believe they will. The ball is over on the far numbers. I'm not sure why they've got it marked on the numbers, but that's where they've got it. Hank, I think the official that spotted the ball, that he had his foot planted, and I think they uh, threw the ball out there where right they there. would plant where the, he had it spotted, and uh, uh, we're going to measure this thing. I believe we got the first down, Hank. 11-11 left in the third or in the fourth quarter. We're tied at 24. Let's check. It's, it's going to be very close. I think you're right, Bill. Let, well, let's see. They're pulling it tight now. And let's see. Oh, it's close. Did we make it or are we just short? Looks like they're going to say we're just short by a couple of inches. Whoo. A huge fourth down coming up for Fitzgerald. Fourth down in about two inches. The ball is just outside the Sumter County 10-yard line. That quarterback sneak just a few minutes ago looked pretty good. What you talking about? Of course, this real short distance, I'm sure Sumter's going to put all their big guys right there around that center. Davis is in the ball game, I though. see Davis checking into the game. I'm going to that, – that would be my call, Bill, just to try that quarterback sneak one more time. But we'll see what Coach Pruitt wants to do. Just everybody dig in, and this is my, my big guys are better than your big guys. Do you try something crazy here, Hank, and just, uh, <laughs> well, first of all, let's see if we're going to try to draw them offside. And it's going to be a just a straight drive ahead for Davis. Let's check this. Let's check this. He didn't get much. I believe But now did, our, our guys are saying we got it, which, of course, Sumter County says we did not. There was a little bit of a push there, Bill. And it will be a hurricane first down. He will make the 10-yard line, and it's first and 10 Fitzgerald. He didn't need much, Bill. No, he didn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> and there again, uh, I think we had a good view here. No doubt he got yeah. uh, a yard easily here. And uh, But anyway, here we go, first and 10 Fitzgerald. And the ball is at the, uh, what, 11-yard line, Hank? I think it's resting right, right on the, the 10. 10. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be first down goal to go for Fitzgerald. Calvin Tillman split wide left. It looks like Bill Boone and Brandon Brown are your backs in the backfield. Boone's going to take snap. He comes left trying to find somewhere to go with the football, and there's some pressure comes through, and it's going to drop Boone for no gain. Nice job by the Sumter County linebacker. Came Flying through, thought Boone might have had a little bit of room there, but uh, he trips Boone up by the ankle and no gain. Second down goal to go now from the 10-yard line. Remind you at home, we're tied at 24, Fitzgerald 24, sump to 24. We're moving under the 10-minute mark. Fitzgerald has it second and goal at the 10-yard line. Wilson Davis now in under center. Calvin Tillman split wide right. Pascal, the back in the backfield. We give this thing to Pascal right in the middle of the field. He's driving down inside the five-yard line, down to about the three. It's been a good play this second half. We just line up with Davis under center. We bring that wing back in motion and give that quick hitter to Pascal right up the middle of the field. Hank, I thought he might score there. Uh, one of those Panthers reached their paw out and tripped him up. 
but it had a good head of steam. Look at this now, Hank. Third and goal at the four-yard line. Yes, 9 it is. 17 left in the game. Third down and goal to go. They will spot the ball at the four. Davis now checks out, and it's Bill Boone back into the ball game. Boone and Brandon Brown. And this is Boone trying to find some running room. He's behind one of those big linemen, trying to drive forward. They've caught him from behind, and he is not going to get there. He's going to be short. Bill, I think they're going to spot him at about the two. He fell in behind Quali Green, trying to hide back there and uh, get some push from Green. And one of those big defensive linemen from Sumter County caught him from behind and just pulled him back. What do you do here now, Hank? It looks like Coach Pruitt has already made his mind up to go for this. It's going to be fourth down, goal to go. Ball resting at about the two and a half. Try to draw them off sides maybe, then take a timeout or go for it. Boone, Boone checks out and it is. checks in, and, and Coach Pruitt does call timeout. He wants to talk about this a little bit. It's a huge play in this ball game. 8-16 remaining in the ball game. We're tied at 24. Fishel has it fourth down, goal to go. Just inside the Sumter County three-yard line. Don't go anywhere. We'll go back to Mick quickly in the station. All right. All right, Mick. Just And we're back to JC Stadium, and Fitzgerald has it fourth down, goal to go. Ball at about the three-yard line. We've got our heavy package in, Bill Boone and DeAndre Pascal, your back's in the backfield. Fitzgerald really needs to punch this ball in. Here's your snap of this Boone. He's going to give it to Pascal, and Pascal. He's in. He's in, he's in. He's touched. Well. No, he's not. No, he's not. I thought he got in, no doubt. Mm. And he was knocked back, Bill. I thought he got in there. They're going to say he was knocked back, and the ball is going to be spotted at about the half-yard line. What a defensive stand. Hank, he was headed in the end zone. He was. I really thought he was going to fall across the goal line, but, uh, hey, a great effort on the on the Sumter County side, and that ball is placed at about the 16th line. I thought he got in. I certainly did too, Bill. I thought he got in but they're going to mark him just short and uh, just give a pat on the back to that defensive front for the Panthers, stopping Fitzgerald short. 8-10 remaining in the ball game. Score tied at 24, and Sumter County has it first and 10 at about their own one-foot line maybe. Boy, a nice little old fumble right here would be what the doctor ordered. And we've got a flag, and this is going to be, I think they've got a receiver lined up across the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a penalty of about, I don't know what, Bill, four or five inches four maybe. Inches, yeah, half the distance with from six inches is three <laughs> inches. <laughs> I'm telling you, the nose of this ball has got to be getting awful close to the goal line. Let's see if we can get a, maybe we get us a safety right here. Tyson calls for the ball. He's going to drop back to throw. And he throws deep down the sideline over here. Excellent coverage. Bill Boone stride for stride with the intended receiver. Boone not fooled. Boy, a little bit of a risky call throwing the ball from deep in your end zone. But Tyson had, had some nice time to throw. And uh, great job, Bill Boone. Second down now. Ten yards and three or four inches. And Sumter County is running in uh, a player right here at the last minute. And they're going to give. And we've got him in the backfield. Safety. As he get out, we got him. It's a safety. It is a safety. What a job, Fishdale. Anthony Lewis, Trey Washington, trying to see who all is back there. Bill Boone. We've got several Hurricanes back there, and we dropped him a couple of yards deep, Bill. What a nice job by that Fitzgerald defense. Man, Whoa, just what we man, needed, man, Bill. Man, Hank. Safety. 
Yes, sir. That's the two points for Fitzgerald. We're up 26-24. And, Hank, uh, they got to kick the football. Yes, they us. do. And they kind of got a little disadvantage because they've got to kick it to the 20-yard line. And every time I see a safety, I think back the – the folks that made up the rules for football really penalized the team that gave up the safety. Uh, oh, yes. You get two points, the, the team that tackled you in the end zone, you get two points, you got to give the ball back to the other team, and you got to kick it from the 20-yard line. So uh, yes, sir. Fitzgerald will get the ball back uh, after uh, Sumter County gives up a safety. And Hank, so who were some of those guys back there on that tackle? Uh, I saw Trey Washington and Anthony Lewis both uh, coming up from the bottom of that pile, but there were several hurricanes back there uh, in the end zone. Bill Boone also was there. And it looks like Sumter County will elect to punt this thing from their own 20 yard line. Yep, you normally would kick it up at the 40, but you kick it from the 20. And that gives the, uh, well, it'll give Fitzgerald excellent field position uh, and got, yep, give him the ball. 7.58 yes. left in the game. Fitzgerald 26, Sumter County 24. I would like to see us bring our deep guys up just a little bit, Bill. I'm not sure this young man can punt it this far. Sumter nope. County still, I don't think that they have. Uh, well, they've got some confusion on their sideline trying to get in the right personnel. I believe they've got them in there now. Yeah, we've got some folks 50 and yards now deep. Now he's going to, instead of punting this thing, now he's dropped it down. And he's going to just kick it off the ground. I mean, I'm not sure what's going on. And we've got a delay. Coach Pruitt is saying there's a delay. The, the, the play clock is down to zero. I mean, this, this play is taken forever. I think uh, Serpentine County must have been awarded a timeout. I'm but not sure. I think sure. Coach Pruitt saw the, the, yeah, the clock at zero. Yes, I think. Uh, and, of course, that would be a five-yard yes, penalty. Would. Back, back it up to the 15. Yes, sir. Yes, I don't believe they're going to back them up, but uh, I think Coach Pruitt had a, a pretty good argument. All right, let's set the situation here. Fitzgerald up 26-24. There's 7.58 left in the ball game. Fitz, uh, uh, Sumter County has just given up her safety to the Hurricane, and Sumter's got to kick it from the 20-yard line. Woo. Should give us good field position. Should give us the ball back. A chance to run some more clock. Well, up by two. And it's been a heck of a ball game here tonight. Yes, it has, Bill. Yes, it has. And we've got uh, we've got a couple of guys standing back at our own 35-yard line. Now they're going to kick this thing off. And it's a high, deep kick. And it's going to be Tillman taking it at the 28-yard line, taking it up the middle of the field. Got a little crease up there. He's going to cross midfield. There's going to be a nice return. Calvin Tillman. Fitzgerald will have great field position at the Sumter County 48-yard line. Hank, I've got a 27-yard return by Calvin Tillman, and all of a sudden you look out there, uh, we've got the ball in, the, in Sumter territory or at their 48-yard line. So Sumter gives up a safety. They punt it back to Tillman. Tillman crosses midfield back into Sumter territory, and Fitzgerald has it first and 10. 7.52 remaining in this football game. Fitzgerald up 26-24, first and 10 at the Panther 48-yard line. Bill, we need to take this thing down and, and get us a touchdown and make the point after and make this a two-score game. Sure. What we're looking for. Wilson Davis under center. We're bringing Boone in motion. It's going to be D.J. Westbrook with a little counter. And Westbrook's going to pick up 10, 11, maybe 12 yards. And another, it'll be a hurricane first down. They'll spot the ball at the 35-yard line of Sumter County. 13-yard gain there for D.J. Westbrook. Westbrook's first carry in this second half, but it was a good one. Picked up a first down. That's our 19th first down of the ball game. And Westbrook with three carries, 26 yards. But his best important carry of the game was that one right there, picking yes, up sir. a first down for Fitzgerald. Nice nice play call there. The, the, the Panthers linebackers have been sliding uh, following our wing back, and we came back with that counter the opposite direction. And a nice job by the back side of the offensive line, this left side gave Westbrook some room to run. Once again now, Wilson Davis brings Fitzgerald set. We've got Pascal in the back, but we're going to give quickly to Pascal up the middle of the field. Nice tough run, and Pascal hit at the line of scrimmage, and he'll twist and turn and fall forward. He'll pick up a couple, 
maybe three, but uh, good tough running. Uh, just not much there for DeAndre Pascal. Two rushers tonight for your Hurricane over the 100-yard mark. DeAndre Pascal, 18 carries, 103 yards. And Bill Boone, give him 22 carries, 105 yards. Some other guys carrying the ball tonight for Fitzgerald. Antoine Doxer, Wilson Davis, Cameron Johnson, Dwayne Westbrook, Daniel Harris, and Tyson King. And Pascal checks out. We've got Trent Jenkins and I believe that's Tyson King in the backfield. Davis again brings Fitzgerald set. And we're going to fake the handoff up the middle and give to Cam Johnson on a little wing back reverse. And Johnson will pick up a hurricane first down. He's down to the 21 yard line of Sumter County. My first downs only go to 22, and gentlemen, that's 20 right there. I'll make some more room for yes, that. Sir. You just keep making those first downs. 20 first downs for Fitzgerald, and uh, looking over here, let's flip over to the uh, Sumter County. They've got eight first downs on the night. Well, Bill, that last drive, which we did not get any points out of it, but I had it as a 15-play drive. It started at our 30-yard line and ended up at the six-inch line. And official has moved the ball. We just got to punch this thing in. First and 10, a hurricane at the Sumter 21. And again, it's Davis bringing Fitzgerald to the line of scrimmage. And this time we're going to give to Bill Boone. Boone finds a little running room, stays on his feet, and he'll get inside the 15. Was hit at about, was hit at about the 15-yard line and able to stay on his feet and stumble forward for a couple of extra yards. And it's going to be a nice eight-yard gain for Bill Boone. I think a score and an extra point makes it a nine-point game. 5.53 left in the game. Fitzgerald 26, Sumter County 24. Davis one more time has Fitzgerald set. He's going to bring Pascal in motion. He's going to give this thing to Pascal a little buck sweep. Pascal still on his feet, just driving forward, getting a push. That's Quali Green getting behind him and pushing. This is going to be a first down goal to go situation for Fitzgerald. Looks like they will spot the ball at the seven yard line. Bill bringing that wing back in motion and to give on a little buck sweep. We're pulling those guards, kicking that contained man out and cutting right inside. It's been very successful this second half. Hank, let's remind our listeners we're only leading by two now. Yes. Only by two. We're going under the five-minute mark at four. This is going to be a direct snap to Bill Boone. And Boone's going to take it, and he's going to give. And that was Brandon Brown on the carry. And Brown's going to pick up a couple. He went down to the five-yard line. Bill, the timing on that play looked a little bit off. Uh, I'm not sure if, if, if Bill didn't handle the snap uh, cleanly. But uh, there was a little bit of delay into that in that handoff to Brandon Brown. But uh, still positive yardage, gain of two. It's going to bring up second down, goal to go. The ball looks like the nose of the ball is touching the five-yard line. We're down here driving towards the armory. And again, it's Bill Boone and Brandon Brown. Your back's in the backfield. This time it's Boone. He's going to try to find some running room. Following Brown at left tackle, he'll get inside the five. He may get down to the three. We'll have to check it. He's going to be around the three, maybe the four. And it's going to be third down now, goal to go situation. And it looks like the ball is spotted just across the four yard line. And one more time, it looks like Boone checks out. Wilson Davis checks in. Clock running, 345 remaining in the football game. Fitzgerald with a slim two point lead but trying their best to punch this thing in. We've got Wilson Davis in shotgun formation. Davis takes, he's gonna take the snap. We've got Calvin Tillman in motion. We're gonna throw quickly to Tillman and the pass is complete, but we're gonna lose yardage on this play. We had Tillman lined up wide right. We brought him in motion left. He reversed field and went hard Back to the right, Davis took the snap. We hit Calvin Tillman in stride, but excellent coverage by Sumter County, and we're going to lose a couple of yards back to the five-yard line, and we've got it fourth down now. Goal to go. 
Hank, let's catch up on Ooh. some shout outs. Vivian Pittman and Valerie Wilcox, they're listening tonight. An updated score from Mike Rayner, Worth County 42, Jeff Davis 13. I want to say hello to Justin and Elena Foster, they're listening tonight. And also Annie Harper and Debbie Harper. Thank y'all for listening. And the Dice family are listening tonight as well. So, uh, Hank, I think that'll get me caught yeah, up. I've got a couple, Bill. Uh, Jessica and Ashton Griner are listening to us tonight saying go, Canes. And then I've got uh, Brandy Peavy from Casserole Court saying go Canes and go Purple Girls. Lydia and Jean Mason listening tonight. And another shout out to uh, uh, Larry, Edward, Betty, and Debbie. Uh, they're listening tonight as well. So uh, thank you all for each week tuning us in. And, uh, hey, they're back on the, back out on yes, the field for this, what is that, fourth and six? Fourth and uh, looks like the ball. Fourth and seven, maybe. Uh, I was going to say it looks like it's between the five and the six. Yeah, fourth down and six yards, let's call it. Fourth and goal from the six. Yes, fourth and goal from the six. We've got Calvin Tillman split wide left. Davis under center. He's going to take fake the hand of He's going to throw to Tillman. we got Tillman over. What a throw. Touchdown. What a route by Calvin Tillman. A little slant route. He stops and reverses for the – and uh, as he cuts back out, the receiver – I mean, the defender for Sumter County sort of stumbled across his feet, and a very nice throw by Davis hits Tillman in stride, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Fitzgerald. Woo-hoo, just what we needed, Bill. It sure was. 323 left in the game, and we're set for the point after. Griffin Cox will be your kicker. Great route by Calvin Tillman. Really turned the defender around. And Wilson Davis right on time uh, hit Tillman in stride. And here's the big point after trying. It's up and it is good by Griffin Cox. So with 3.23 remaining in this football game, Fitzgerald now stretches its lead to nine. And it is Fitzgerald 33, Sumter County 24, and we will quickly go back to Mick in Roanoke Valley. He's going to be fielded at about the 32-yard line. Coming across the field, now the Sumter defend, uh, returner is reversing course and a nice open field tackle. I believe that was Calvin Tillman with the tackle. It was. What a job by Tillman. And that was six. Leverett caught it on the far sideline over in front of the Sumter bench. Came streaking across the field reversed his field and uh, if Calvin Tillman doesn't make that tackle he had some open room to run but what a nice job by Tillman and it's first and 10 Sumter County at their own 32 yard line. Let's review that last scoring sermon. Wilson Davis to Calvin Tillman a 7 yard touchdown pass the point after good a 48 yard 9 play drive and after that score an extra point Fitzgerald leads 33-24 and this in game scoring summer is brought to you by Melissa Burgess owner agent of Coldwell Banker Active Real Estate and they're located at 125 South Main Street in Fitzgerald their phone number 229-423 sold that's 229-423-7653 first and 10 now for Sumter County Tyson shotgun formation. He takes it, rolls right. We've got some pressure on him. He's got a receiver, a little out route, but uh, pretty good coverage there. Jay Alexander, his pass will be out of bounds and incomplete. Bring up second down, 10 yards to go. Bill, I've got a scoring update. Uh, Daniel Calhoun listing, and he says uh, Brooks County 21, Irwin County 6, and that's, he said that's a score in the fourth quarter. Okay. Well, here it's Fitzgerald 33, Sumter County 24, and Hank, second and 10 yes, it for is. Sumter County. Second and 10 this time, Tyson takes. He's going to throw, got to back out of the backfield, a little out route. His pass will be complete. 
It's going to be a gain of about eight, maybe nine. And that was Braylon Terry with the reception. Terry was the up back, came out of the backfield, a little out route. And on third down in the yard, they're going to give this thing, and I believe that was wise. He didn't get it. No, he has stopped short. I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. And that was actually Tatum on the carry, not wise, 22. And he's going to lose a yard, so now it's going to be fourth down and two back at the 40-yard line of Sumter County. And uh, Sumter County is going to call timeout and talk about this a little bit, Bill. 234 remaining in the ball game. Fischel up by nine, fourth down and two. And Sumter County's called timeout. With a timeout on the field, we'll quickly once again go back to Mick in Roanoke Valley. In my stat sheet, I've got us with 35 plays in the second half and Sumter County only 13. Yes, sir. Big fourth down play for the Panthers. Tyson, he's going to keep it himself. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage. Let's check the mark. Bill, it looks like they may have marked him with enough for the first down. Needed a couple. It looks like he's going to pick up maybe three, and it will be a first down for Sumter County. As soon as they set the chains, the clock will start. 229, 228, it's already rolling. Tyson takes a snap quickly, throws out to his left side. His pass is complete. Let's get him on the ground, guys. This is going to be another first down. Another first down for the Panthers. Gain of about 12. They're into Hurricane territory now. Ball will be spotted at the Hurricane 46 yard line. Two sixteen remaining. Let's get this clock running, guys. Now they'll start the clock. Tyson again, shotgun formation. Drops straight back, looking to his right. He's got a receiver up. And that receiver had actually turned up the field. I think Tyson thought he was going to continue towards the sideline. This ball is thrown out of bounds. It'll bring up second down and ten. Clock stopped. Two oh eight remaining in this ball game. Fitzgerald with the nine point lead. I've got a scoring update from Jason Yeomans. Coffee County 34 and Jenkins 0. He said eight minutes left in that ball game. So on second down now, Tyson once again, shotgun formation, two receivers to the right side, one to the left. Drops straight back. He's looking down the middle of the field. He's got a receiver open. What a nice job, Jason Ferguson at the last minute. Cuts him off and deflects that football. What a nice play by Ferguson. Yes, that was, Hank. That was, he was. Jason Ferguson, number 34. I mean. Just a junior. Without that breakup, that guy would have easily went in the end zone. Bill, when he turned it loose, I thought he was open and had a step. And what a nice closing job by Ferguson to get there and knock that ball away. Third down and 10. The ball up the Hurricane 46-yard line. Twin receivers right, single receiver to the left side. Again, it's Tyson. He's looking. We got some heat on him. He tries to get the ball on an out route. And again, that is Ferguson with outstanding coverage. Stride for stride with Keiston Taylor, the intended receiver. And this will be incomplete as well. And that's going to bring up a big fourth down. Fourth down to 10 now for Sumter County. 158 remains in the ball game. Fitzgerald 33, Sumter County 24. Fans trying to get this Kings defense fired up, making a lot of noise. Two receivers right, one to the left. Now they're going to motion the receiver from the left over to the right. And look at this, D.J. Westbrook. What a play by D.J. Westbrook. Tyson takes Rolls right. It's going to be a little throwback to the tight end, and Westbrook just all over the quarterback, hits him. Tyson just desperately just throws it away, and this ball will be turned over on downs. 
What a play by D.J. Westbrook. Hank, the defense bowed the neck and poked out the chest on this last Woo! drive for Sumter County. Yes, they did. And that's probably how the ball game will end. We take over at our own 45-yard line. We're up 33-24, but what a heck of an effort by that defense on that last stand. What you talking about, Especially Jason? Especially little Jason Ferguson. Jason, Jason Ferguson with two outstanding plays. Sumter County uh, out of timeouts. And so um, – this is going to be the everyone's favorite play, old victory formation. We've got Wilson Davis now. Looks like he's just going to take this snap and take a knee. We've got Bill Boone about 10 yards behind Davis. And that's what we're going to do. Wilson Davis just takes the football, takes a knee. Now we're just going to let this. We've got 40 seconds from the, when they spot this football. We're going to just run this clock out. Here comes Hal Wiley trying to make it down to the sideline. Go get him. Hal, there was a time I wasn't sure if Coach was going to be happy with this interview tonight, but I think he'll be pretty happy. Yeah. Clock running, 126, 125. We've still got over 20 seconds on the play clock. No, no need to get in any hurry. Hank, uh, Sumner County was uh, quite a Ooh. challenge tonight, yes, wasn't it? Yes, they were. Good football team. They've got some impressive athletes, a lot of size and a lot of speed. Davis one more time takes a snap. He takes a knee. And I believe one more snap may do it, Bill. We're going to have to snap the football one more time. They've started the play clock. 35 seconds on the play clock. There's 47 seconds remaining in the ball game, so we'll need to snap this ball with, I don't know, 15 or so seconds left in the game. Fitzgerald led 17-16 at, at the end of the first half and came back to a 33-24 win. And uh, Hank, a lot of attaboys of that uh, defense Woo! tonight. What you talking about? And here's Davis. He's going to take the snap and kneel on it one final time. And that's going to do it. That'll be your final play of the game. And it's good news from J.C. Stadium. Your final score, Fitzgerald 33, Sumter County 24. Please stay tuned. Hal Wiley is making his way down to the sideline. We'll have an interview with head coach Tucker Pruitt here in just a few minutes, Bill. It was a hard-fought ball game, but uh, Fitzgerald will come out on top and we'll head down to Cook County next week to take on the uh, take on the Hornets. Yep, hi, Kyle. I think you would agree with me and so many folks in the stadium tonight. Uh, uh, Sumter County's got a good football team. Yes, they uh, do. We thought we'd come in here after a big win last week, 48 to nothing. And this might be uh, one that we might win 25 or 30 points. Yes. But I tell you, not to be. Sumter County, give them an attaboy. Yes, sir. They played well on offense and defense. They stopped us in some key situations tonight. But uh, good, consistent play from that offensive line. Got the ball, kept the ball, make first downs. That yes, seemed sir. to be our game plan. Without a doubt. And uh, kind of didn't give Sumter a, a lot of time in that second half. We'll talk about all that as we wrap this thing up. But Fitzgerald winners tonight, 33-24. Uh, we'll be back with the post-game show after this. All right. Ferguson for the defensive player.
Folks, I think you got your money's worth here tonight. 33-24 uh, was your final. Uh, Fitzgerald still undefeated in the region. The next region matchup will be down at Cook County next week. A lot still here to wrap up. A lot of uh, team stats, uh, scoring summaries, and uh, we have a uh, interview with head coach Tucker Pruitt coming up. First of all, the Purple Hurricanes are, mo are going over to the band where they will enjoy the alma mater. Bye. And then soon after that, we'll find Hal Wiley and get an interview there with head coach Tucker Pruitt. Okay. Hank, Hank, going over some uh, individual stats so while we're waiting for the alma mater to finish up out there. Bill Boone, uh, he had uh, 24 carries for 115 yards. DeAndre Pascal, 19 carries, 109 yards. Antoine Doctor, 7 carries, 25 yards. Some others carrying the ball tonight. Cameron Johnson, seven carries, 38 yards. Wilson Davis, five carries for 19 yards. Brandon Brown, one carry for two yards. Dwayne Restbook, three carries, 26 yards. Uh, Daniel Harris, give him one carry for four yards. And Tyson King, uh, that young man, uh, one carry for eight yards tonight. Uh, let's take it down there to the field. And uh, Hal Wiley, he's got head coach Tucker Pruitt. Congratulations, coach, on a big win tonight. Thank you, Bill. And, uh, Coach, uh, congratulations, 33-24 victory. And uh, you just said it before we went on the air. We get everybody's best effort. Yeah, well, you got to tip your hat to those guys, man. What a game they played. Uh, they got some talent, very well coached, and they gave us all we wanted. But I'm really proud of our kids. You know, everybody loves a 48-0 victory, and yep. those are a lot of fun. But uh, a lot of times in life it don't go that way, and you got to persevere, and you got to battle, and you got to play to the end. And uh, I'm proud of our kids for doing that and finding a way to win the game. I love being part of your or, or being able to hear your your talk to them afterwards but you said to win a state championship you're going to get in a lot more games just like this yeah you got to be able to win close games and and you know uh, I know everybody wants to win by 30 and comfortable, but it just don't happen that way. And you got to be able to win close games. And uh, what we got to do now, the challenge moving forward, is we got to play better. You know, we got to play four quarters. The first half was really sloppy, a lot of penalties and turnovers, and uh, you know, looked like an undisciplined, very poorly coached team. And so we definitely got a lot to work on. Uh, but again, kudos to our kids for getting it together and finding a way to win. Coach, uh, big week this week with homecoming. We crowned a queen at halftime and uh, had a pretty good crowd tonight. They got behind your team. Yeah, we did, and it's a great week, and I'm glad we were able to finish off with a win. <laughs> These folks didn't come out here and make all that noise to, to lose, and so I'm glad we were able to, to pull it out. Well, Coach, congratulations on this uh, region win. Let's go get another one next week. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, boys. Uh, it's, like I told you before, it's a lot better to interview him on, on days like this. <laughs> we played a little sloppy, yeah. but uh, that's what a good uh, team and that's what a Tucker Pruitt coach team does. So um, back to you guys. Thank you, Hal, for that. Uh, recapping some other uh, stats up here and uh, – Sumter County with 10 first downs in the ball game. Fitzgerald had 21 first downs, Hank, and uh, after 11 that first half, we got on a roll uh, and wound up with 24, 21. Sumter County, they had uh, five first downs in the first half and five in the second half. Uh, the number of plays, that was the big difference. Uh, Sumter County um, just did not have the number.